Patrice O'Neill in studio playing the Stress Factory. Oh, tonight. Wow. Tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Vinny's Club in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, the Stress Factory. Go see Patrice O'Neill. Jimmy's back from L.A. I We're am. talking about Thanksgiving. We're talking about uh, vegetables we hate. We're talking about the, uh, the, the, the shock collar that Patrice brought in. I don't know where to go. Where you want to start? I want to hear the publicist audio. Okay, we got I, I that. I want to hear that just to wrap that up because I heard about it and I haven't heard it. You want to start with that? Mm. All right, let's do Is that. it interesting? Because uh, if it's Yeah, because it's being, something we, we we can relate to. When when you're having a good interview and the dumb publicist that's, you know, sitting outside the studio doesn't crack a smile. She's just looking at her fucking watch. She's got a big, huge uh, handbag, whatever the hell they're called. The business has she's to got her coat on. She doesn't even want to, like, nah. take her coat off. The business asks for that because they don't hit back at publicists. Like, a guy like Owen Wilson, I'm using him as a completely random example, any celebrity. The bottom line is, if, if the publicist is, is behaving like a twat, what you have to do is every show has to go, we're not helping Owen Wilson promote this movie yep. until they, he dumps her. The bottom line is, they, they need to promote more than the talk shows need them on because there's enough fucking famous people to do talk shows. And then eventually these shitty, cunty publicists will smarten up and stop it. There's no reason the business needs to be slave to these fucking wannabes. Yeah. And some of them are great. Some of them protect their people. They, they keep you from making an asshole out of yourself. I mean, they do serve a purpose, but they overextend all the time. Because a lot of actors are fucking bores, and they're dummies, and so they're protected by somebody who's a little I don't smart. Know, I don't know what purpose they serve when their people are going on uh, talk shows. I really don't. Because you know it's all about promotion and, and being able to handle yourself. Yeah, and the I, uh, I don't understand. The business that. has to hit back. Yes, yeah, yeah, the of bottom course line. They do. Of course they do. Because we say no to a lot of pretty famous people because we know they're going to be just bores on the air because they're in that world where you know you can't ask them much of anything. Don't ask them about this, 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 and it's all the shit that. Since we're having them on anyway, wouldn't you want to ask them that? That's also the fault of the fucking pansy pussy artist. I've had enough of these fucking artists what they don't want to talk about. That's why I like comics. I mean, we I fucking talk about everything. I bet it's the publicist more so than the, the artist. They tell them, look, don't, don't talk about that because it'll fuck this up or that. Or... Sometimes, but I think a lot of times the artist gets off the hook, too, because they, they, they hide behind the publicist, too. A lot of fucking actors and musicians hide behind the publicist, too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Robert mm. Pattison... Who's that? And uh, you're not exactly. supposed to know who Robert Pattinson is, so that's very good that you just said that. Okay, good. And Kristen Stewart, they're the stars of that Twilight movie. Oh, uh, okay. Did you uh, did you see the first Twilight, uh, Patrice? Uh, it was and a you phenomenon watched, from what I understand, but I... It, and you watch all movies. Patrice watches more movies than anyone I know. It, it, and, just, it just looked like uh, something from uh, CW. But you've seen the Harry Potter movies, right? No. Hmm. Whoa. Mm -mm. Hmm. That blows up my argument. The Harry Potter movies aren't bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've never seen them either. They're not bad. You know how some movies are just all. anti? Right, I understand. Like, I'm that. not going to see Precious ever. Why? That's, but, <laughs> that's uh, fucking unless, unless, Come on, he's expressing his opinion. No, unless... <laughs> <laughs> what did I do to you, Ann? Fucking asshole? <laughs> it's the holidays. <laughs> I want to get a version... I want to get a version of uh, Precious in the theaters with a laugh track. Just a big, over-the-top laugh track. I that movie looks brutal. About the face with a frying pan. Ronnie B said it's a... Uh, what did he say? I don't want to wreck the line. White, black... It's a... It's a, uh, uh, a, a Oh, fuck. Help me out, Ant. Isn't it the a, black Rudy? No, no. Black something. Exactly. A, 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 I've never a, seen Rudy. What do you say? A bigger, Overrated. A bigger totally blacker rude. Juno? Oh, yeah, What yeah. was his line about that? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. No, nah, it was if better If it's not that, that, but it's funny. It a bigger, blacker that. Juno. A fatter, blacker Juno. Blacker and, Juno. And, and, fatter, blacker Juno. I've never seen Juno. Like, it's just some, You know how some movies you're just not going to go see? Is Juno good? I heard it's great. I've never seen it. It's just the hood of the pants. It's like... Traveling pants. Like the TV goes off. quilt. I saw Juno. How did it make an American quilt? She won the Oscar for it. I like uh, Juno. Lorenzo's oil. Like anything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lorenzo's oil. Anything, what really? <laughs> your special oil for your kid? Is this a real story? Not it is. ever going to see that. As soon as I what? see suffering for the whole movie, it's just like, oh, yeah. I don't mind Powder, that. bye. What is Lorenzo's oil? I don't mind suffering if it, unless it's cheesy suffering. L Lorenzo's oil is this kid has some shitty disease. And uh, only that was about. I think only yeah. olive oil worked on his no, muscles the, or something. Isn't that the one where the parents like found Nick a Nolte. cure or something? Yeah, oil like uh, uh, vegetable oil or something Wait, for the kids. Yeah. Is this sensitive Nick Nolte or the Nick Nolte I like from Q and A? I love my son. <laughs> oh yuck! I love my son. <laughs> Jimmy, you got to go see Precious. I'll see that. The I mean, trailer is the I like a miserable movie. Brutal. I like a depressing crime. Well, movie. then you're gonna love Precious.
Nah. And but if it misses, it misses badly. Precious too. With with Monique. Newark Airport. <laughs> <laughs> with Monique. If, she works in Newark Airport. You got, can you please take your, all your things out the bag and your shoes off, please? Get your laptops out. <laughs> Monique, can you please? Monique looks brutal in that movie. Didn't, doesn't she hit Precious with fucking a frying pan or something? Yeah. Throws her down the stairs? She's probably pushing, deserved it's supposed, it. It's supposed to be, they're pushing it, and Oprah supposedly has no money involved, but she's... Pushing it like pushing she does, it. like she put a name on it just so people see it. Uh, yeah, I just, it's just it's a movie. I think Oprah said it's a movie that uh, must be seen. Like uh, why? <laughs> right. yeah, exactly. why? Why? <laughs> Fucking why? So it's Clockwork Orange, fat lady. Uh, Shut up. In any movie that I see, when it, when there's a bunch of black chicks doing it, like dancing in the living room with some wine. Is it? Is, do they have scenes saw, like I that? I saw some, a scene Something? like that. Yes. Well, that's just that's like, uh, like what's uh, the pizza movie? Like Mystic Bad Pizza or so it's Stella get her groove back or some green shit. tomatoes, anything. Yeah, where it's just a bunch of horseshit. Do you know Clap. I keep Anthony in a room full of black women drinking wine? Literally, not. There's not <laughs> one thing you could say that they wouldn't hate you for, <laughs> unless it was I'm leaving. That's true. <laughs> they would end up loving. It. And Anthony, this is what black women have a beautiful way. They would just tickle Ant until you like black people. Yeah, they would just kiss you on the that, cheek. That be it? And like, they'll call like, you like, baby Aw. until you. Till you start crying, like what's wrong, baby? Well, I don't like when bl I don't like black strippers. Like when they come up to me and and want to lap dance, you know, give me lap dance and shit like that. I don't know. What's wrong I'm just with you? Because I'd rather have the, the but fucking. But I don't like white strippers. I'd rather have the lily white what's stripper. What's wrong with you? I think white strippers are cornballs. I I don't like the black strippers. Kinda They're true. too fucking like kind of true. You know. They're too good at dancers. I don't like anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what bothers me about black strippers. There's not enough desperation. It's like, this fucking chick is really good at what she does. It annoys me. I like a girl who shakes like her stiff hips because you know she's got a kid at home and she needs yeah. money. You white wanna... strippers, are, they're just cunts. Like, they just, like, they yeah. treat you like you're there paying to see their pussy. And I, I go, yeah, I am. I, I, yeah, I like Jimmy's no. point, though. You want them to look like they're doing it for the drugs. A little desperate. <laughs> a little, a little desperation. I'm kind of I've never seen that. a white stripper that looks desperate, though. Like, that looks like she's in really? Yeah, it's a bunch of Russian broads and Ukrainian chicks. Yeah. That, those are like your white strippers now. You, and they you, hate men. You rarely get, yeah. They're kidnapped. Uh, great. I was, uh, he came from Ukraine. Just but never thought I'd do the, do the dance. But you know, I had to make it the money. No, and you're like, shut up and fucking shake your ass. <laughs> Patrice has got to go down in the minor leagues. You're going to the nice places. Go to well, the if minor I go leagues. to the minor leagues, that's the, I go to see black The minor girls leagues and, and strip Latinos. clubs is where you're going to see some good stuff. Yeah, but I You're going to see the gunshot wounds and the cesarean scars. I don't want to see Paul. I went to a one, an illegal one in Manhattan. It was on top of a... A Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> really? Oh. And, the, and the girl was it uptown? It was um, it was uh, around forty something. That's, oh. that's not uptown. I was still up just thinking about that place. And she, it was just, it just smelled like, you know, that it had that, it had a dirty mop smell. Yeah. And it just was horrible. And the girl stuck her whole hand in her asshole. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Is it still open? I don't know. How did you get my bachelor party? How did you get in? Nice. There? You know, where do you get married? The code, yeah, word, is, yeah. the code <laughs> word is crullers. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said bachelor party. You thinking about getting married, Jim? No, I was just kidding. I couldn't think of a worse place oh, okay. to go before you fucking tell someone you love them forever. <laughs> a strip club over at Dunkin' Donuts where a girl's a fist in her asshole <laughs> at a church the next day. <laughs> but just, it was, it was, it was. You know. But it's illegal. How do you, how do you, well, you need, find out about it? Well, you need a. I think you need a license to just do certain yeah, things. I yeah, think yeah, one is have women right. in a room sticking hands in their ass and mm -hmm. can't and, do that. And selling, <laughs> selling liquor. Yeah, <laughs> where you're not supposed a, to be selling. Liquor. Probably a health code violation. Oh, Oh, it's just having her hand up her ass and then maybe, you know, touching you. <laughs> Sticky floors, but that uh, shit is just... The rules are dumb. Just because a girl can shove her fist up her ass and you, you can't sell liquor? What's that about? Well, you know, you can't touch them. Some places you can't touch them if they serve liquor. Can you touch that yeah. place? In that place? Oh, you could... You, I could have joined it. <laughs> you could <laughs> just stick it in. Yeah, I put a little cocoa butter on my hand. <laughs> as long as you're buying some donuts when you leave. That's the only obligation. <laughs> You gotta buy a fucking dozen donuts. A dozen stale donuts <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> All right. Uh, listen, so we got the uh, Twilight yeah. movie. All right, so... Uh, so it's the guy and the girl who are in the movie. Well, on Ryan just a little back uh, story. The whole entertainment world, that fake, phony fucking Hollywood yes, fucking thing. Yes, They're all trying to figure out if these two are dating. And they're yeah. kind of fooling around with the rumor. I, They probably are dating, but they don't want... They don't want the public or their fans to know because I guess that would be bad because everybody that goes to see this movie wants to bang either the, the chick or the guy. You know what I mean? Right, it's right. kind of like a Beatles thing. 
You know, the Beatles weren't supposed to. And this is big time, right? You want to act like situation? you're single. You want to act like you're single and available, right? even though all the Beatles had fucking girlfriends and kids and sure. and pregnant women at home. It was a, it was a mess for the Beatles. Sets the fans. It's right. the uh, so, it's the uh, the, but it's the number one bestseller of all those books. Twilight, Twilight's oh, it's a massive. Book thing. Oh, okay. And then it became a movie. They're okay. massive teenage books. Somebody on Twitter yeah. told me, "Fuck Dexter, go read the Dexter books." I heard. Yeah, I heard is that. Is that too. crazy? I, that's crazy to read a book about when I like just reading watch the book the before I see the movie. No, wow. because then you lose. I know you go the other way. You movie see the first. movie and then read the book. Because then you I learn hate more. People that fucking read I the see book. the movie. Why? I hate people that read Jaws. I did read Jaws. <laughs> did you know that in the in did. the book, fucking Hooper uh, Hooper yeah, Hooper dies and he fucks Brody's wife in yeah. the book. In the book, yeah. But you read the book after. And the shark just dies. Yes. From having so much shit done to it. During that course of the hunt and everything, yes. there's no big blow up scene. There's no big. He just fucking. He just floats he just belly up like a regular goes, fish. You know, I had yeah. enough. You Peter, got me. Peter Bensley's yeah. an idiot. You got me. So, Peter Bensley's an idiot. So, <laughs> uh, no, I tell you, in the book, the shark actually electrocutes himself plugging in a fax machine. <laughs> it was really a weird ending. <laughs> so instead, of, he did invent the fax machine. <laughs> instead of remaking these great movies like Jaws, I'm sure they'll remake Jaws eventually. Why not just remake Jaws but follow the book pretty they much? They did that with The Shining. They and, did, and it stunk on ice. Oh, so that wrecked it for everybody. I didn't know that. And Cooper's I read the road. Shining. That movie, yeah. the road. A friend of mine. Said I read it's the, the road. It's the worst. It's like the most. It's the worst book they've ever. Like really? not worse and and sucked, but worse. Like it's depressing. It's the most depressing. I read the book road. Book. The, the, the road. road. The road. Apocalyptic oh. fucking aftermath. But I hear it's it's Father, just ho son a horrible. Like, just walking on the road trying there. to figure out how. You and know, what there's, is what? There's no That's punctuation. Cool. There's no character names. There's just it's uh, it's. I read the book because it was on so many lists as one of the best books of the last ten years, and I read it. I was like, uh, it you. was all right. I read it in like two or three days. That kind of sounds cool, though. I like that post-apocalyptic shit. Yeah, I think it could be a good movie. Well, it's, it is a movie. It's coming out. No, I know. I, know. I think the movie's going to do well. Vigo. I, I think the book is... Vigo's in it. Vigo. Yeah. Vigo. And uh, uh, the dude from The Wire. Is it uh, Fucking, uh, Michael Williams? Yeah. Oh, cool. I think he's in that. Who? Michael K. Williams. Uh, Omar. Omar. Oh, Omar's in it. What up, bird? <laughs> yeah, what up, bird? It's the best <laughs> fucking line in the entire series. Oh, the gay gangster Omar. Yeah, he says hello oh. to the guy in court as he's lying to get thrown in jail for the rest of his life. Because he was lying. The guy didn't kill, commit that murder. What up, bird? <laughs> yeah, what up, bird? We were, uh, bird we were was not happy. We were tweeting our favorite lines from The Wire for a couple of days. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it was all right. Do you watch your Wire watcher? What happened? you watch The Wire? Fuck, oh. man, because of Jimmy. Every episode. The be best character is Snoop without challenge to get the Snoop. lesbian gangster. She's the best fucking character. Omar by far. I like agree. Snoop is right in there. The first, in the first, uh, Omar just rules. You know and then what, Snoop is a close, I, I would say a close second. The yeah. most complete character was fucking uh, Avon Barksdale, I think. Because that... He's only in one. No, 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 he's in the first three. Yeah, he, he made it a... He's a great fucking actor, but he had a really weird, Wood slow Harris. delivery. Like, he was a fucking... Really underrated, man. How that guy never mm. won an Emmy for that fucking... Cause he was and, and never watched a while. Never, you, he watched season I, one. I watched season yeah, one what and happened? fell off. It was great, though. Well, you didn't like I it? I know, I liked it. The I second just, season's a little season, rough. Yeah, season two with the season fucking... Season two messes you up a little bit. It had yeah. nothing to do with me not liking I loved it. I thought it was great, but I don't know why I just never took that next season. Just and start over season... I'm telling you, just start over season two. You're only a couple episodes in. Yeah. You get caught up in the docks. There's so much more with the fucking drug dealers. There's so much more with Barksdale and fucking D'Angelo. There's so much more. And then, I'm telling you, season fucking two grabs you. Now it's And like, Ziggy was in it. Who we, we just start season two, you'll remember everybody. You know what, though? I, now it's all about Call of Duty. So Not Call of Duty. People I had to wait a year play. to watch these shows. Anyway, they were always <laughs> a year they wait to come out. Hey, what about Bubbles? Oh, Bubbles. fucking, of course. He was also uh, Andre fucking Royal. He was one, might be the best actor. And then, well, in the what was his name? Michael, now on 90210? Who? The, the guy who played uh, a fucking Tristan? Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 Tristan, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Good for him. Good guy. One always and, the, and the cop who made drugs legal was one of my favorite. Bunny. Characters. Bunny. Oh, right, right. Bunny rules. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good show. It's I'm awesome. gonna, yeah, man. I'm going to watch it again. It's, it's about time. Well, <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> thing. Thing. <laughs> we got too yeah. so much going on. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get, get the audio. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our feet.
The guy's married to a basketball. I was going to say he married a beach ball. <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. He married a beach ball with arms. I know, look at what Just they arms, put on not legs. I know. Then they go uh, into look at what Victoria's Secret do. model. Inside edition. Oh, show. are they vultures? They should they, be blown they up. Should just, they should have a show where you just film people, right? <laughs> uh, 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 like a hidden camera film where you film people watching something before they are told what to think what about it. it. Right, right. So they, they just show that thing just sitting there pregnant. And <laughs> and just have people watch their first reaction is oof <laughs> until <laughs> until they watch fucking CW and, and somebody goes oh my god even things can fuck that fucking <laughs> even things can fuck that goddamn that is just disturbing yeah like what the fuck he, he stuck think his as, dick in as that he's fucking that he eats it too you know he puts it on his face and eats it ah oh, stop you motherfucker you, man you she's got them little feet that were poking out like wah you know what she should come with. <laughs> she should come with a uh, with uh, uh what the a fuck? tall wife wait, too. Wait a minute. <laughs> What's the fucking movie where the guy was on his shoulders? Um, uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Uh, the, the the thing oh, that was sitting on Master the Blaster. Master. <laughs> she should go around like Master Blaster. <laughs> the big retard oh, had the fucking oh, little midget oh, guy. Quato. He just, just super glue her to, to his side <laughs> just and feed it. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? They're going to make me watch her? Yeah, yeah. She's pregnant and uh, she's going to be having having a kid. I, she had a kid already, right? I guess so. Oh, I guess yeah, she's got a couple thing. kids. The guys will get the audio down the hall. It's uh, yeah. Well, can we have one, one thing on TV Words. where someone goes, ugh. Yeah, because that's well, that's <laughs> yeah. why it's on TV for us to go ugh. But they try to make it like it's a real thing that you really need to know about and learn about. No, you want to look and stare and laugh. Right. Steve from Bayshore says she should have been birthed into a tiny little casket. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> just, the doctor just going push to the mother, push, yeah. slam the lid shut. Yeah. Poor little feller. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Saving every photograph you take for the next twenty years. Trust me, you're, you're gonna thank me. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, yeah. what the fuck, uh, man? I don't know. The guys will get the audio. Right. Uh, you know what? We got to show these guys the uh, uh, risky business video. Oh God, is that fucking hysterical? All right, don't say anything. I when Danny it. comes back in studio, we got a video right. for you. Let's get I, the Twilight thing out of the way. So we're talking yeah. about movies. Twilight, the two stars. Are they dating? Are they not? Everyone want, needs to know, and that's what Ryan Seacrest decided he was going to ask. Now, Ryan show. Seacrest also is the demo of these people that are interested in this. Sure. So him asking a, a question about a relationship is, I mean, that's what all these fucking little tweens and shit want to know about. Yep. Who, who is he going out with? What's it? So he asked the question that his audience wants to know. And, and this happens. And he's not so a that's, that's why I, I was a little bit more nervous about this one than any of the others because uh, it's kind of the finale of the press tour and everything, and you kind of you have to sort of please everybody. So. What What do you say to your fans who are desperate to know about you and your co-star Kristen? What What can you tell them? <laughs> what can you tell them about it? It's, uh, they can tell, I can tell them to watch the movie. You, you can't ask that question? <laughs> you can't ask that question to the guy? It's his co-star. It's a fair question. Thank you very much. But I was just, I was just cut off for the first time ever. The thing I can say to them is, watch me moon. It's amazing. Hey, thank you. Did you hear No, no, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. She sucks. But so does that fucking fruity star. Yeah, if you're a fucking, if you're talent and you let that fucking bitch pull you off a yeah. show of that size, uh, excuse, no. Yeah. I would never have let my fucking you publishers go, pull go, me you out. Go, Hold on, and then you say, eh, you know, I'd rather just not talk about my personal life. I'm here for that, but you know, uh, I understand you want to know. Nope. But there's nope. ways. There's ways to do it diplomatically where. The, the publicist doesn't have to be a cunt, and you don't have to come off looking like an asshole. I don't think he did, though. I, I think that kid, first of all, you know, you're you're a, a, a man, and, and in, I, I never had a, had a publicist, you know what I mean? I think mm. I had one for a month, and I, I said, this is not me. Yeah, can't you know, leave. <clears throat> you know, to go somewhere and just take a picture because you're there, and it's just yeah. pathetic. But if you're 20 years old, and this is, you, you're a part of a machine, and you're, and you that's what you are, and your publicist, let's, let's go. I don't know if he's old enough, you know what I mean, to go, mm, Maybe not. get, get out of here, bitch, yeah. you know, get out of here. Like, sometimes your management, it, it took years for me to realize that sometimes management agents, 
they make you feel like you work for them. Yeah. Like they yeah. tell you things and they say things to you and you go, wait a minute, motherfucker. Yeah, wait, you you're working my for me. Checks. I'm paying you. Yeah, I pay you. You don't don't send don't have checks go to your office and you pay me, bitch. <laughs> I owe you money. I owe my agent money. <laughs> as I should. <laughs> Not he owes me money, motherfucker. So the thing is, he this kid seemed like he wasn't to be to be fair to him. He didn't seem like he was a dick. He seemed like he was going, uh, fucking Ryan, I, I'm sorry. And Ryan's like kind of like a, not a, a, he's a Hollywood dude. So mm -hmm. he didn't even trip out. She was being a cunt, but if that happened here, he needed to be on a show like this because that would have, that we, this show would have forced him to go, dude, wait, 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 mm -hmm. like for real. Are you mm -hmm. upset about this? And you, and no, you let's count. You let's count. her out. Yeah. No, you know what I mean? Because he's a young guy. That's listen, what I'm saying. Well, he's a young guy. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Well, Just we can, listen in the background. Oh, if you, you miss it, you really got to listen. Wannabes. You really got to listen in the background, and it's hard because of the conversation going on in the foreground. But just listen. It, it, just listen, listen to the publicist Just in the listen background. to that the fucking voice, voice that we've heard a thousand times. That's, I, that's why I, I was a little bit more nervous about this one than any of the others because uh, it's kind of the finale <clears> of the press tour and everything, and you kind of you have to sort of please everybody. So. What What Ugh. do you say to your fans who are desperate to know about you and your co-star Kristen? What What can you tell them? <laughs> what can you tell them about it? It's, uh, they can tell, I can tell them to what you, you mean. You can't ask that question? <laughs> you can't ask that question to the guy? It's his co-star. It's a fair question. Oh, thank you very much. But, uh, so I was just, I was just <laughs> cut off for the first time ever. The thing I can say to them is, what's New Moon? It's amazing. <laughs> what? Th hey, thank you. Thank you. I, you know, and I Shut said, up, Brian. That's yeah. what I said yesterday. Exactly. Fucking yep. thank you. You don't thank them after they... Unless it was sarcasm. Man, you look he's stupid. one of those guys. No, it wasn't sarcasm. He's in that world. He's that guy. And it, I, it I would say sarcasm. this. I, the, the second time I did Letterman, it was the, the, the regular producer was there, this woman. And, and uh, you know, I'm me, but I'm, I go... I do the show, and I'm, and I'm having a good time. And when I left, she goes... And it, it gave me, you know how you do things that give you those, oh, fuck, I do, that douche chills myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, look back and wave and smile and goodbye, say goodbye to the audience. And I, and I, I just, it, at the moment, I just go, uh, bye. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I should have said, like, Let's go, eat, eat my balls, motherfucker. <laughs> but at the moment, dude, it, it's, it's like a split second when you go, D dignity. It's just like, oh, oh shit, wait, what dignity or oh, fucking just, bye bye. Yeah. It's like you, that dude was just let's go go, and he's just like he already said I, I have to please people, and I'm yeah. trying to make everyone happy. So there's a publicist going, do you want to be a star or not, you cocksucker? Yes, yes, and you know that's mm. it, it. Just it it takes a lot to be a fucking man. It takes till you're fucking forty. The yeah. studio or whoever yeah. is she should be fucking fired. I agree. Who, uh, who, whoever because, is, if that was my film and she was on, especially a guy like Seacrest, Seacrest, she, right. that bitch should be. Who is she? You should find out who she is. Listen, and and on top of that, that question's being asked everywhere. That's not an out of the blue question. <laughs> So the publicist, the, the only way she's going to deal with that is to yank the guy out of the interview. It's ridiculous. At yeah. this point, if you're a publicist, you sit the guy down and go, look, obviously this question is being asked everywhere. we got to figure out yes. a, a way to answer that properly. Here's how you divert. Even though I wouldn't want to yeah. hear that they're doing that, but at least that's better than yeah. yanking you know, talent off radio shows and TV shows for asking <laughs> the question that everyone's asking. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That's just embarrassing. Do they show cool. the publicist in the video, Dan? On air with Ryan Seacrest from the world premiere of the Twilight Saga, yeah. New Moon, is brought to you by Bing. Bing. The decision engine. Oh. Go to Bing.com and check right. out all new right, commercials. Enough. Hey, commercials. These commercials are getting longer and longer before yes, the videos, are. man. I didn't mind the Oh, this was in line somewhere? Oh, no. Uh, uh, oh, okay, we can see the video of this. Oh, and you guys, oh, we'll tell you where the video right. is in Last a sec. RyanSeacrest.com, I guess. I know you're rushing, but you can, you can relax. Is, you can relax here for a second. Uh, uh, when I talked to you when you were in the studio with us, you said this whole acting thing, you weren't quite sure what you were doing. You sort of stumble yeah. into every role. I think yeah. you've locked into a rhythm now, would you say? <laughs> can you pause that? Stumbling. No, no. Okay. Just want to point out something we've seen a million times that I, I did describe it perfectly about. 20 minutes ago, yeah. you see the publicist standing in the corner, yes. arms pretty much folded. Ugly, fucking ugly. Not <laughs> not reacting to anything. She's like a robot as as this guy's doing an interview with Ryan Seacrest. You already see her kind of ruining the vibe of the room. It's his personal life and that fucking bitch yanked him out? Right. Oh, I hate them. Go ahead.
figuring it out. Um, I, I hope so. I hope so. I, th I, I do feel a little bit more confident in everything. Now that you see people screaming exactly the same way as they did last year. Get to, get Talk about that. I mean, I just saw you walk up to a couple of fans here in Westwood. What's that moment like for you when you realize what an impact this character has had oh, on people? God, like that publicist. You see her? It's yeah, yeah. Surreal. We've seen that look I mean, a million I, I, fucking I, I, times. Get that bitch out of the studio. Oh, shit. People turn up. I just hope I don't sort of miss anyone. Like the little things you can do. Oh, he just doesn't know he's gay yet. People as much as you can. Waited outside for five days. The bar is raised with something like this phenomenon. Yeah, and you do feel. Don't answer that. And that planned messy hair. This whole world sucks. The planned messy hair. Fucking on purpose mess. You have to sort of. Oh, yeah, what's the trees. difference between and that and just messy you hair? Say to your fans, because everything else is. Oh wait, pop. here it is. Oh, oh look at all. Oh. Shut up. Go back, Dan. What, what we, can oh, you tell? The me? ugly fucking skinny one is putting. Ah. Because Ryan goes, what do you say to your fans? And she starts making like 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 the, the cut. cut, the yep. cut. Uh, she, that's the, the woman who wanted the to be powerful. Cut, cut. That's a fucking nobody. A, a no talent who wanted to be powerful, yep. just doing something powerful. And before you turn back on, she's a. Don't forget, man. Shit rolls down fucking hill. The if the, if she, this is not her, she's she's a PR person for a, a company who has oh, it goes a, way above a her. foot yeah. right in a pussy for, for all day. <laughs> a foot a pussy. So that if she, yeah. if she had any confidence, she but would that's be where like, Jimmy is correct. The the show's got to start fighting. But that's back. That, you know what though we've had enough of these publicists and they take it upon themselves. Yeah. She's just jumping in because she maybe that question shouldn't have been asked or wasn't supposed to be asked. But that bitch, the way she yanked him out of an interview of this size, you know, the, 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 what, what he should do is go, nobody from that stupid movie is getting on my radio show. Yeah. And then Leno should do it, and Letterman should do it, and Conan should do it. And then that bitch would never show yeah. her stupid face go, backstage go again. Go further. Ryan Seacrest is on American Idol. I'm sure they, you know, the same publicist has people that would love to be on American Idol. you got to fight back. Yes. And, and, and these... we're, we're in a, we had a problem with Brooke Hogan, not her personally. We had an interview with Brooke Hogan, and it went great. And then they were giving us the wrap-up sign, but it was obvious she was having a good time. There was a couple things going on that we couldn't really wrap up, so we went long with the interview. Because we went long with that interview, Brooke Hogan had not a problem with us. That publicist is giving us hell behind the scenes. Well, hell. What could have happened, hell, and then we couldn't get Hulk in, was that the company could have said, well, if you're going to hold that against him and not give him Hulk, then Hulk's not doing anything on the serious platform. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they would not, of course, would not do that. Why would they? I mean, Stern they can't control, well, but that, any other show on the platform they could. That would mean and people are yeah. dumb, Opie. Though. And this is the thing: is like, okay, you would think it, because we just talk the way we do, and, and just and just that's what we practice doing. Yeah, this guy, it's like someone did something research that said, mm. okay, if people know one you might be gay, or two, you're sleeping with the girl, so that fucks up the fantasy of everything. Yeah, I, it, but but I'm just gonna I'm just saying I watched something where. Thomas Dewey lost. This is how stupid people are. I'm saying Thomas Dewey didn't win the presidency because he had a mustache. Like that kind of shit. Yeah. People are that fucking stupid. Where that could really fuck up the movie. Yeah. So yeah. this this little prick is just trying to be a star. All right, and I got to say something because remember I said that I might have another take on this. Yeah. A few people are going, "What if Ryan Seacrest was in on this because?" Uh, you know, everyone wants to know the answer to this yeah. question, so he's playing along. Oh, maybe. And I was going, oh, that's very interesting. Until I saw this video, yeah, and the publicist, you can't act cunt. You no. just are cunt. Yes. <laughs> that woman is a yes. cunt. You can, she's you not can feel, acting that. You can feel cunt. That. Yeah, yeah. Right. You can fucking you feel can't cunt. cunt. You can't. You just are. It just springs you, out right? of that yeah. monitor. Yes, she's a she's a unforgiving. Like if she just in anything she does, if you go, I'm sorry, I did what I did. It's just you're gonna get. It's all right, just, let's know. let's play it out she here. She's not been slapped down by the business. Because now this see, is the part where it all goes now. bad. Yeah. Oh, we need sound. Uh, I fucked up. Oh, be. I'm sorry. Kind of the finale of the press tour and everything, and you kind of you have to sort of please everybody. Yes. What what do you say to your fans who are desperate to know about you and your co-star Kristen? What what can you tell them? <laughs> what can you tell them about it? They can tell, I can tell them to watch the movie. You can't ask that question? You can't ask that question to the guy? It's his co star. It's a fair question. Thank you very much. But I, so I was just, I was just <laughs> cut off for the first time ever. The thing I can say to them is watch New Moon. It's amazing. What? <laughs> Th hey, thank you. Unless, here's the only thing that gives me an indication that they might be in on it. He says, What can you say to your fans? And she starts giving the cut sign. 
He hadn't indicated at all. Him. Yeah, but it's Excuse so uh, out there and obvious, though, Jimmy. I mean, that's uh, they're doing half-hour shows on this. Are they dating? Are they not? Talking about how they got into separate oh, vehicles yeah. from an airport. It's 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 oh. everything on those well, here's Hollywood the shows. Other phoniness. Give us a shit. Why not lie? Yeah, like, there you why go. not just say, say no? no. Exactly. What is this fucking teasy shit? Because the, because they like to chatter. That is causing chatter. Um, People are chattering. Know. Okay, chatter. You want to see another video to make? I almost happy? fired Pete, my agent, because he said he wanted me to do something to create chatter. Uh. I had to hang up on him because if I heard another <laughs> word out of his mouth, he was going to be fired. Jimmy, Shatter. if you fire him, could you put me on um, speakerphone with you? I would love to hear his Only reaction. Only because he said create chatter. I would love to hear his reaction when you fire him. He would have no idea of his awful sweaters. And I love people. It would be a so lot of fun. <laughs> Let's just fire him for the hell of it. <laughs> Terrible outfits. Can you right. The uh, risky business. Risky business. I these, can't these guys, see that enough. These guys haven't seen uh, seen that video yet. It's funnier the more you, you watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Have you seen the black girls um, sitting on the toilet? Oh, Jesus. Sitting on the toilet. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Sitting on the toilet. Patrice, did you see the black girl dancing on the table? No. Yeah, that one's You got to show Patrice that next. I think I'll enjoy that one. All right, watch this. This, one's, good, okay? this one's great. Watch that volume. Volume. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> 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 oh, did that bitch go down? <laughs> one more time, one more time. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, this shit. What? What? Did I see the rest? Yeah. That's wonderful. Now, now it's hot. Now it just gets hot. Oh, my God. How look great at, is that? Look at that. Oh, How man. great is that? God, is that great? That <laughs> is so goddamn funny. She hit her head. Uh, they greased the floor instead of using socks. So the floor is greased. Oh, how hot is that? Wow. You can tell she tries to run. She tries to run, and the grease on the floor makes her do like a cartoon character run. <laughs> <laughs> Then she turns the camera off. <laughs> Danny, one more time. Oh, this, one more time. There, there's a fucking god. One more time. Jesus. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that damn, shit. that head smashes on that This floor. should just be a show. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a grade three concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, but who the fuck put it off? <laughs> it might have been on a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did she go down? That's her fucking head. If people aren't walking, like, can't see it, if that crashes her fucking nugget her head. hitting the floor. It's fantastic. Please show him the fucking girl dancing when she's on the table. The girl gets on oh, the yeah, table. Oh, yeah, that's another girl. good one. Oh, it's nothing better. Oh, wow. I love that. There is black a god. Girl on the table. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I black love girl that. dancing on the table. Yeah. I'll tell you when it comes up. It's good a lord have mercy. <sighs> nothing better than someone hurting themselves. 40 seconds of a fucking... <laughs> <sighs> Uh, let's I see. Don't know which one is it, uh, Jimmy? Oh, hold on. Maybe it? black. Oh, girl. I know which one. Fall. Does she? No, is it the one where she hits her head? I don't know. Falls. Must be that, right? The table tips mm -hmm. over and no, she falls. No, that's the white girl. Black girl. You know, there's a black she's girl that's doing a black girl on top of a round table and the table falls. And she flips over. No, no, that's not the one that Jimmy's talking about. Though. Yeah, it the is. Black girl table fall. Oh, I know it. It's it's the one. But she's not black. Yeah, she is. She is? Boy, yeah. See, I don't see color. There she is. I don't see color. Big, okay. fat, dumb girl <laughs> falls off table. There Funny. <laughs> Better not be a Rickroll. No. Oh, yeah, I guess she is black. I didn't notice that. She's singing. Oh, that's the whole... Uh, that's, that's a bad, bad version. No sound oh, on damn it. It. Come on, fucking assholes. It's the... People don't post shit. People post shit. 
there. Oh, that's the long version, too. Where's the remix? The remix one is really funny. I like the long version because she just grabs her fat leg. She's like a wounded buffalo. <laughs> She's like a turtle on her back. She can't even get up. She really fucking... <laughs> Wait, get the other one. The remix is great. Oh, the, the suffering is the one that... <laughs> because it's... The, when you get hurt... Look at this. <laughs> that's, oh. that's precious fault. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. precious fault. Make <laughs> that bitches think they're nimble on a table. <laughs> Oh, oh, she was hitting a good part of the song, too. Oh, she oh, was just God. holding the back of that meaty thigh. Oh, holy fuck. Oh. Is that funny shit? Okay, good. We're going to take a break. We got... Uh, do you oh. think... Let me ask you a question. If you showed that to a class full of black junior high school students, do you think they would laugh at it? Oh. The, 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 the room would smell like shit from everybody shitting in their pants. Wait a minute. I love how she's fat so hit. What do we got? Oh, guys. <laughs> we got a before the break. We got a very <laughs> mysterious shit. phone call coming in. <laughs> oh, he oh, called funny. an hour ago, and he's calling back with more demands. <laughs> very mysterious. We do believe this is the two o two serious XM five dollar fugitive. Yeah, whatever it is, uh, fugitive. <laughs> I got another hint. Oh, another hint as to who you are. Yeah, could you explain uh, to everybody what's going on? Because we've got a lot of people just tuning in the show for the first time today, Fugitive. What's what's going on? What's going on? I got 10000 from Mel Karzistan. <laughs> he got he stole $10,000 from Mel Karzistan. Karzistan. Or Karzistan. Yeah, that's a place in fucking the <laughs> former <laughs> Soviet right. Union. Yes. He means that's actually Mel the cop from Scarface. <laughs> How were you able to get ten thousand dollars from Mel? Because we sure can't. See, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cuz <laughs> cars extend. How'd you get the money from Mel? I when he goes to sleep. Oh, you broke into his house while he uh, was sleeping, wonderful. and you, you took uh, some pocket money from Mel. Oh, uh, while he was asleep in his office. I stole them on top of money. All right, so now, um, so we we got to figure out who you are. Now, yeah. what what what's the other hint that you have? Yeah, you're what's giving us clue? another clue this hour. My uncle is a police officer. You're lying. No, he's not. I'm not lying. One of my uncles <laughs> is a police officer in Florida. He's a deputy sheriff in the Orange County Sheriff's Department. I'm Orange County, for in Florida. No, he's not. No nephew would do this. You're lying. Yeah, definitely lying. Mm, he is a police officer. <laughs> All right. So what? What is your demand this hour, fugitive? Last hour it was uh, he wanted us to pour Jimmy pour peanut butter because that's what you do with peanut yeah, butter. You pour yeah. it on uh, Sam's uh, afro. And then put gum in it or something. Yeah. And we did that, and you're still not giving us the money back. So now what, Fugitive? What's your demands? Yeah, what's your demand this hour? You know, Johnny, there is going to be a guy on Friday, a face you know. He will bring a thing of jizz. A thing? Wait, wait. What will he bring? A thing of what? Uh, a cup of jizz. A you cup of jizz? But you're bringing a cup of jizz to us on Friday? Somebody you know. <laughs> somebody we somebody know we will be know. bringing us a cup of jizz. I don't know. It's a cup it, with, with jizz a, in it. Right. E-Rock e has to eat it with the food. 
<laughs> so you want E Rock to eat jizz on his food on Friday, and then you finally give us the ten thousand dollars right. back. Right. Right. He has to do it in front of a person that br that'll bring the jizz. Hey, uh, they were telling me uh, that uh, the fugitive has a diabolical laugh. Can I hear your diabolical laugh, fugitive? <laughs> Uh huh. Could could we? Because Jimmy didn't hear it. Yeah, I, I yeah. would love uh, for Jimmy to hear our it, the fugitive's first call. Sure, fugitive. Part of it. Thank you, fugitive. Thank you, fugitive. We'll we'll uh, see this person on Friday with a cup of jizz. Yes, that's right. Uh, we will right. be uh, bringing some a cup of jizz. Very good, <laughs> very good, fugitive. Uh, now now, fugitive called earlier. <laughs> And uh, the fugitive gets a little shaken up when things happen. He, he's not very sharp uh, and to think on his feet. So listen to the, what happened uh, during me. the earlier phone call. Uh, uh, a fugitive, can can I ask you um, what what borough of New York do you live in now? Uh, I live in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's happening, fugitive? Yeah, what happened, fugitive? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I actually, the dog had just walked a little bit too. too the dog walked a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's brainless. Please let me hear that part of the call again. Yes. I knew you would like it. Oh, my God. Why, How do you not love that? That's why we oh, continue so with funny. the fugitive thing, because the first one was terrific. The dog had just walked a little bit too. No, no, no. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up a little. Yeah, a little the fugitive's bit. great. Yeah, the fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's happening, fugitive? Yeah, what happened, fugitive? No, 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 nothing. I actually, the dog had just walked a little bit too. The dog walked a little bit. <laughs> 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 that voice sounds familiar. The fugitive has called before, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the fugitive has called before. He's probably. Uh, <laughs> pranked us before yeah, yeah i think so <laughs> yeah that's for sure oh. all right we're gonna break uh patrice is gonna be at the stress factory tonight tomorrow and saturday in uh, new brunswick new jersey Vinny's fine comedy club <laughs> uh we got the inside edition tiniest mom oh good got a little audio on that Fresh fucking freak we got a rape joke that was on the view what Ooh. oh yeah and patrice brought in a uh a shock collar today Cool. I just and he to... wants to explain next. Opie and Anthony. So, young Patrice, Man. I saw a uh, special, <laughs> yeah. and I feel bad. Um... <laughs> what? What happened? I, I lost the rage fist. <laughs> oh. Patrice, I uh, saw a PBS special on Neil Young, and I have to apologize to white folks. He is a iconic uh, person. Oh, damn! Real artist. You didn't know? Real, real fucking mean motherfucker who who does things. Against the grain, yeah, yeah, he's is not as famous as he should have been with his counter, but he's a he's a legend to his peers. Yes, his peers love him. Yes, they respect him. That more made a lot more money than him, but no one has more respect mm -hmm. than fucking Neil Young. He's a goddamn trooper, and <laughs> I didn't uh, in Black World. He's a he's a fucking nobody. He's nobody. Yeah. And then in, uh, in uh, White World, I've just watched it, just like something else. In I the discovered. Black World, who would he be? He in Black World. Oh, that's what, he's uh, Teddy Ledbetter. <laughs> <laughs> in in Black World, if you said uh, say Drake, uh, wow, no idea. He's, they, he's, fa no he's very idea. famous. Drake is very famous well, only for the fucking delicious treats he makes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love a good devil dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not. He doesn't have. I mean, if people have taken this completely literal, but it's like. <laughs> in in white in black world Drake is known and Neil yeah. Neil Young is is uh from what I saw in this fucking PBS <laughs> special it was it was uh he's a he's somebody that should be fucking up there he's known in the white world too by the way he was a boxer he was yeah Drake Lamont <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> I don't know why I said that fucking name, but it's just like, but Drake, all right. Yeah, there's there's no there's no black counterpart to fucking Neil Young. Uh, I ate this fucking delicious treat. It was bigger than yours. What's Marvin Gaye to, to white people? Dead. <laughs>
I was going to say something else. <laughs> so was I, but he only asked for a one-word answer. <laughs> yeah, white people know Marvin, Marvin Gaye. Gaye. But I'm saying, what is, the, what is he to We only know, people. like, two songs. He probably can name a, a million, but... What is he to people? Like, what is he to white people? I don't know. I don't know. Motown, famous Motown yeah, guy. But he's yeah. not, like, he's not more as special as Neil Young is, right? Mm. Uh, now, uh, now it's different genres yeah, and all sorts of yeah. shit. He's as known. Yeah, let's move on. All right, fair yeah, what's up with so. the collar you brought in? Oh. this uh, It looks fucking dangerous. It, 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 look, it, I only brought it in to say this. I, I <laughs> You know, I have this little dog. Yeah. Uh, Is it retarded, by the way? Did we ever no, get the, the answer to that? No, he's not retarded. He's turning into quite a decent uh, dog. Okay. He, he shits like... Uh, when, when it's supposed to? When he humps his back. It's just he humps his back constantly. He's taking shits. And he's a little dog, but he's taking adult shits. That hunch his back and shit. We're, we're just try <laughs> as soon as I see him hunch his back, I want to kick him through a window. <laughs> but he fucking... <laughs> That's just squeezing. I'm trying to find the right <laughs> food combination. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Me and my girl are just trying to figure out the right uh, <laughs> ingredient, like the right food combinations to get his shit like perfectly, perfectly pick up. Uh, uh, t consistency. Oh, consistency, yeah. So to not mush it or not too hard, so he's straining. But we, we're close. But anyway, he'll shit. What the you. fuck? That is brilliant. Why don't dog owners do that more often? What do you mean? Where you figure out what kind of food to give them, so so the the cleanup isn't a hassle. I, but they, I don't it's want not a runny <laughs> fucking mess. I don't want it to sound like a coin when it hits the fucking. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it to when just it bounce the off the floor, but you also don't want it to just be just. <laughs> Fucking, oh, fucking pudding. watery. I everywhere. wanna feed it I wanna feed it twine <laughs> so I can just pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feed it glad baggies too, so it shits in a bag. <laughs> so he's That's just, pretty fucking good. Man. So it's a pain in the ass, but but uh you know, he's a he's a, a Westy, so he's real rough. And I'm reading about him on the back end. I I bought him because he was already spaded and you know, and, and he was at the he was on sale and all kind of shit. And at the end of the day, these dogs are horrible dogs. Like if you, this is like Jack Russell's, or they just, they just, they warn you that these dogs stink. And this dog, he, he sucks. He's just, he's exactly what he's supposed to be. What kind of dog is he? A, a Westie, West Highland Terrier. And he's just an asshole. But at the end of the day, um, I, I'm not the dog whisperer. I don't know how to snap. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to these fucking these things. When I grew up, if a dog shit. You fucking boot it in his ass yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and strangle it. You still loved it, but you beat the dog. You beat the punch that motherfucker wherever his kidneys are. You just fucking it was, hit it. It was put his nose in it. You you shove his say, nose in no, shit. No, 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 and then you smack him. You roll up a Bible yeah. and you fucking <laughs> hit that motherfucker on his roll eye. You roll a Bible up, <laughs> and so he was just frustrating me, just frustrating oh. me with this. With this, I can't hit him shit. Gotcha. So I went to PetSmart. Okay. And purchased, um, it, this is PetSmart now. A reputable company. Yes. It's not, it, mind you, it's not fucking, uh, Vic.com or, or FuckTheseDogs.com. It's <laughs> PetSmart, where they have wonderful things, food and everything for your yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. It's a case and it's locked up. You gotta have somebody unlock it. Oh. It's just a bunch of training collars. <laughs> and I I bought one thinking okay let me just buy this and you know it'll just help me out if he's doing things and I don't I'll just, just you know and I bought this collar and I I, I tried it on myself <laughs> and it has ten settings I tried it on six I put it on my knee <laughs> and my knee stuck my leg poked straight out. <laughs> And I did, haven't shit on the rug since. <laughs> but this fucking thing. Oh when you God. said earlier that you tried it once on yourself, you'll never try it again. I've never, I, I, it hurts. It fucking hurts. So I put it on my dog once. Like, I just put it on just to see what happened. I, I, I pushed it. I put it on five. You didn't push it just to push it. Did you wait for the dog to at least do something wrong? No. You no, no. Just I, just, I tested it. And that fuck was on my lap. He jumped up in the air. And landed and start looking around to go. What the <laughs> fuck just happened? Like the look on his face. I, I I threw the collar off of him and hugged him. Like, like, I, oh my god, help. I'm so sorry. Like because the way he looked, it, the look was like just not like an like, abusive parent. You, you beat him up and then hug him. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's great, Patrice. Like you didn't like the way the fucking dog looked. It it it, it, it made the only look that it could make. Yeah. That that made me feel bad, which is. 
what just happened? What was Not that? Not you did something to me, but it was just like, oh my god, that hurt. Oh, daddy, protect me from that. Yes, and I, I just <laughs> fucking I mean, held him it. for thirty seconds to like maybe two minutes. I'm just like, I'm so sorry, and I I kept it. It's like 120 bucks. I kept it just to just to have it, just to yeah. say. This is so fucking wrong. It's just so wrong, this fucking thing. Put it on some bitches. Can we put it on put Iraq? Put your bitches. I, that's why I didn't, you know. No, we should do. I, I see what Danny's doing. I think we're on the same page. Yeah, we are. Uh, the virus should wear it uh, and be punished. Uh, if he doesn't come up with a fucking punchline, right, Danny? Okay. Yeah. Uh, put, it, put, it, put it around his, like, calf. Yeah. Not his neck. That's fine. Just oh, put God. it around his leg. <laughs> Oh. And then when he when he says something, when he doesn't come up with a punchline, you hit the button, Where's and then the, the number the number goes up by one each time. Could someone set up the microphone? Start on number virus, one. Virus, virus, virus. You got to call virus. for it. Virus, yeah, virus, 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 virus. Where is he? We're all looking down the long hallway. Let me put it on uh, two. Two. Let's Jimmy, would you try two? Yes. All right, Jimmy, will try two. Where are you going? Don't try? put any higher though. Yeah. Okay. He's, he doesn't trust him. No, let me see. And one is a sound. This is the training technique is supposed to be. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Put, it, put it to the put it to the mic. It's supposed to be sound. That's fine. To All say right. to warn them. So one is no shock. It's just the sound. No, it's two buttons. You go. Oh, it's, okay. it's like it's, if it's doing something wrong, you go. Like, hey, you motherfucker! Beep, here comes death. You know it comes next. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, Jimmy's right, putting it around his wrist for two. For two. This is two. You don't feel it? I'm, no, I'm sure I will on three. Three. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's three. <laughs> he just goes, ah. Ah. <laughs> what does it feel like, Jimmy? It feels like you're being. It feels like you're being pinched. A pinch. Hold on. Uh, yeah, they use this in domination and shit. I think. Oh uh, yeah. Go, go to four. Go to four. <gasps> That's unpleasant. Go to five. Oh, oh that hurts. I see the muscles in your arm just starting yeah, flexing. Start. Is that actually just shocking you? That's really weird. It fucking hurts. It, here's what it feels like. It feels like the two pieces of metal are, are going into your skin and twisting. Like Not like you're being stabbed, but like someone has a screwdriver and oh. is just twisting. It feels like your skin is wrapping around metal. <laughs> ah, jeez, that doesn't sound like But far. Patrice did six on his knee. I'll do six on my arm, even though it does hurt. All right. Jimmy, six. No, I'll go to seven. Go to seven? No, he went to seven. It's sneaky. <laughs> Try to hurt the white man. <laughs> Good. Doing six? Yeah, that's a poke. Good to seven. I could see the muscles in his arms are contracting, which is funny. Yeah, it's unpleasant. Wow. It's Damn. fucking... It, Go to eight. Wow. Going to eight. I want to see what it feels like. Yeah, that one you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a whoa. Uh, that's probably for a bigger dog. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. <laughs> what would your dog be doing <laughs> to saying. deserve that? <laughs> Fucking your chick in the face? <laughs> if your dog is holding your grandmother down and fucking her face, you hit him on eight. You put him on. That's what I said. This thing is. This thing is not a training tool. It's, it's fucking cruel. Does it at least come with instructions? Yeah. Go All to right. nine. Fuck it. I'll try nine. Go to oh nine. My God. Jimmy on nine. I gotta do nine. Right here. With the dog shot collar. Oh, What's it going on to his go? arm. It goes up to ten. All right, go, go, go ten, Jimmy. No, I'll go there ten. Ten? No, nine. Nine. Do nine for nine. Me. Ooh, fuck, man. <laughs> that That's hurts. bad. Yeah, I'm not doing 10. You feel that? Jimmy wants to put his nipple on his nipple. Jimmy's going to put on his nipple on his nipple. No, that's too strong, but you definitely feel it, man. It's, it's, it's. Wow. It, Look at my skin. Where, what, what's the matter? You got marks? No, just little ones. Nothing oh. major. Imagine, imagine. Wow. I, I think in domination they would use that and they wouldn't tell you when they're going to shock you. I know oh shock collars. Oh, my God, the anticipation. Oh, that must hurts, dude. I, I put on a seven on my leg and I'm like. That does you feel. Kenny, you want it? Come on. <laughs> Steve? I'll try it. All right. Yeah, of course you will. Watch. Yeah. Oh, I came on my leg. <laughs> yes. Put it against my testicles. No. Steve's going to try the shock collar. On his arm. The I'm not shock collar. Huh? I'm not pressing that button. I ain't pushing no fucking button. You ain't pushing no fucking. You setting me up to kill uh, Steve? No. I, I, I just. I've, listen, I've, I've done these before. I've had. I've had myself. Yeah. Okay. But I've, I've, I've done this before. I fucking. Why? Because I've had dogs, and I didn't want to do it to my dog without doing it myself. Okay. Uh -huh. And then, did you still do it to the dog? Uh, yeah, but it, it's a fucking heart string puller. It fucking, I don't like the way this feels. But does it work? 
Yeah. Like, the dog stopped fucking around? Yeah. I would do, if you told me not to do something, <laughs> yeah. and you had that, yeah, I no wouldn't shit. do it. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking, but you I still wouldn't use misbehave. it on the dog. I wouldn't shit on the rug if you did this to me. So, yeah, but Fuck. we don't shit I, on the I, I didn't put it, I didn't do it on the, on the dog. What, 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 what level? What, what number you want, Steve? What, Jimmy, what'd you start nine. with? Jim, I started with, uh, I started with two. Yeah, he just went from the beginning to the, go right to the top there, Steve. No. Yeah, start with a five. You start with a five. Start with a five. Did you do it? Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, Steve might have a thicker consistency. That big Lebanese skin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I turned it off. Oh, oh my uh, God. Oh, oh Steve got cocky. He put it on nine. Yeah, yeah. he goes oh, to the I fucking. Really room. got cocky. Hold on a second. So right. I'll start. I'll go five back. I put it back. Five. On five. Yeah. Wait. Let me make sure. Oh, it's <laughs> the warnings work. The warnings. <laughs> All right. Jesus. I uh, tingle. Okay. What number we're up to? Don't what, what the fuck did you seven, just put it on? Seven. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> what number now? Eight. Nine. I go nine. That's what I did. I'm going nine okay. with Steve. Dog shot. Whoa, color. motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you can go ten. Go ten. Oh, try again. oh shit, Steve's going, going ten. ten. Going ten. <laughs> That's a lot worse than nine, isn't it? Wow. wow! You feel your skin tightening, like Jimmy said, exactly around the electrodes, and that and is fucking unpleasant. And this goes around the, the, the poor the, 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 look, at, look at Steve's arm. Where the throat is. Holy yeah, shit, yeah. dude. That's still that, freaking that is spasming. That implants in your arm. Did yeah. you push it in that hard? No. Not really. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go to 10. That's, that's the skin con uh, what, contracting There's around a big the difference between 9 and 10. Mother <laughs> fucker, you are not kidding. It's, it's, I just, I said I couldn't, it was so sad. Where's the virus? Get the virus in here. With the virus has that. I gotta do a joke. Strap to his calf. No. Right to his leg. You want the virus? <laughs> yeah, I think that would be hilarious. Where's the virus? But he gets it out. If he comes up with a punchline, you can't, oh, you can't hit him. Yeah. What? This well, whisper? Yes, he is. Why isn't the virus coming? Hey, out? virus. Get the virus in here. If he doesn't want to do it, he can say that, but he has to come in and say that. There's no saying no. Where's the virus? There's no saying no around here. Uh, let me go to Aaron in Texas while we wait for the virus. Aaron! Yo. What's hey, up, buddy? Boy. Hi, girl name. Dude. <laughs> yeah, Love well, I don't, get my, I don't get my ass kicked by ten-year-olds so in the yeah. online gaming community. So. Oh, right, boy. you are. He told you. I can't, yeah. I can't deny hey, that. Uh, hey, uh, what are the chances if we put this thing on Big A? He comes out the perfect linguist. I Zero. He would just go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he would yell out longer, uh, and, and we know he can't yell stop. So <laughs> yeah, he has to yell stop. This is an idea, guys. This yeah, idea. I like it. Big foot punching out. All right, brother. Yeah. So why, say, why is he not coming down? Because he doesn't want to be shocked. Well, he can, yeah, come in, he can say just, no. He can say no. And I, I really don't want want us to have to go. Oh no! It's I like nah. I, this thing. I, uh, Sam told me to shut the fuck up, and Eric said go away. Here comes Eric. Here he comes. Here comes Eric. All right. Er Iraq is uh, waddling his way right. down the hallway. Thank you, creepy voice. <laughs> really? <laughs> what a ghoul. Uh, he gets no respect. He called him a ghoul? He gets he, no respect. He's, he's so the worst voice ever. Hey, thank you, Iraq. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we got Tits McGillicuddy coming in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, virus. Get in here. <sighs> Well, you got to call for, our, for him. Hey, Virus! Virus! Here he is. Here's the hey, virus. virus. Hi, Virus. <laughs> How you doing, Virus? What's going on, Virus? So, how you doing today? I hear you're not happy. No, not really. That doesn't sound like the virus No, not really. Why aren't you happy, Virus? Not looking forward to getting shocked by a dog collar. Well, ah, well, if you have no. a punchline for a joke, you won't get shocked. Yeah, that's fair, well, right, we, Virus? We throw a subject out that's, uh, you know, topical, something newsworthy. I know and how then... this bit goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the listeners out there. Uh, and then you come up with some kind of witty little uh, anecdote about the situation. Right, no, put it on your calf. Calf. All right, so the virus is putting the dog shock collar... On his uh, calf. On his calf. And, you know, it's fair, Anthony. If the virus comes up with a punchline, we don't shock him. Right. Even on the back of the How many part. seconds do we yeah, give him before we shock him? Back. A one. One no, second. No, I give him a couple. You, give, you give him the warning, <laughs> the buzzer. We'll give him 30 seconds. That's more than fair. Yep. 30 seconds is plenty of time for the virus to come up with a punchline. 
All on right, a current topic. There he is. And in 30 seconds, if he doesn't, Patrice hits him with what? A seven? No, no, start with a one. <laughs> Fuck the one. No, you work your way up. Fuck the one. I think you got to start with four. <laughs> I say start with two and work your way up. I'm All right. What are you doing? Adjusting the... Um... He's making sure it's on. Oh, it's on. Make sure it's on his leg, too. Yeah, he'll cheat and put like, on his fucking ankle bone. It's like falling off. What that's all about? The virus. The virus. This is great. Love the virus. Let me to videotape this. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> that's the be tape. Everyone's got their camera. Patrice ball. is trying to put this around the poor dumb animal. <laughs> all right, that's good. That's on. Oh shit! What's wrong with your legs? Pull it up high, like above the. the, the... Exactly. Jesus Christ! Slipping on the mayo. <laughs> Uh, oh, always oh, yeah. Virus, move a little closer to everybody, right between Jimmy and uh, and Are Patrice. Sure the thing is, uh, put your put your leg no, so I can hear the um thing. The oh, warning you, buzzer. You your pants up yeah. Yeah. All right, the buzzer. You're on. Cuff your pants so we can see that beautiful gam. Yeah, there he goes. There's the virus. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah I think we, we are. are. Are you really going to start with what? It, what do you want me to start with? Yeah, we got to start At least high. five. Okay. Yeah, we got to start high. It's got to be... You I mean, can't lull him into it. Well, Let me, should we start with three just to know it's on? Yeah, start, I think so. Sure. You hit him, hit him with a three right now. You felt it? Yeah, but not enough, there. not enough for it to be a punishment. Yeah, okay. yeah. You, you got to go five. Crank it up. Okay. Yeah. All right, here's the virus. He's got the dog shot collar around his leg. He's got 30 seconds to come up with a punchline on a current topic. If he doesn't, Patrice hits him with the voltage. Right? Yeah. yeah. What if it's just, What if he just does like what sometimes a quarterback's being rushed and they just throw the ball down to the ground? I know. What if he just pops something we'll out We'll make the mouth? intentional grounding call. Honestly, yeah. Patrice is the executioner. If you don't think it's a... <laughs> no! If you don't no! think, if you no! don't think it's no! a legitimate no! punchline, you! then you hit, the, hit This him. is a fucking vault. This is... You know what kind of execution this is? <laughs> Wow. This fucking is a, a firing squad. Eight people got a fucking blank. I agree. And one person yeah, has yeah. the bullet. All right, that's yeah. I am not going to judge this. If this All is a us. fucking room judge. But it has to be a legitimate yeah. punchline. Okay. Even if it's all not right. good, it's okay. How about let's give a subject. What do you yeah, think? Jimmy was just on Leno, so you know all the current topics you guys were messing with. Jimmy? Carrie Prejean. Carrie ah, Prejean. Uh, the uh, Miss USA. Miss USA. That she's got some sex tapes. Sex okay. tapes. Right. And, uh, Very insulted on Larry King, and now it turns out she's got a lot of sex tapes and a lot of pictures out there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you got on that virus? Go. go. There, I'm looking at the clock. 30 seconds. There's five seconds ticking by. Sex tapes. Sex Would you tapes. watch them? Yeah, yeah. Got 30 seconds. <laughs> 30. Which is already oh, half oh. over. Someone says, hey, I got the Carrie Prejean sex tape. Do you want to watch it? Yep. 30. Would you watch it? Here we go. Yes, I would. And, all right, he's got 10 seconds to come up with a punchline. Right, 10 well, seconds. 30 seconds goes fast. It's five now. He's got now. five seconds. Three, two, and what does the virus one, has? No zero. punchline. <laughs> yeah, the, virus. Feel? the virus has learned how to... yes. the virus has learned a valuable well, lesson well what sucks now you got moving up to six how about yeah. wait, moving up to wait, six. wait 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 what, 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 new, what? Rule. Yeah. new rule new All rule right. we vote on the on the level of strength that he should be able to come up with a joke for this one for instance, Carrie Brajan yeah. should have been a four. Uh huh. Because that's that's uh, okay. so. Yeah, but no one wants to see him shocked with a four. We want to see right. him shocked with a ten. Uh, let's be honest with each let's other. give him the easier the joke should be or okay. to come the up higher with. Higher the fucking. Let's setup. say okay. if it was Lorena Bobbitt no, time. I, I Lorena think, Bobbitt is a fucking no, man, I think, ten. I think you just move it up one more. No, because and they can't give him I, I thought she was easy because she that just was happened. Easy. How about this one? This is a subject we no, did they're around. No, all easy. So just fucking put it up Here's one more and he, give him another easy one. Here's all what right. we did on this round table last night. It was, are Bert and Ernie gay? Because there's groups that have been asking, are Bert and Ernie gay? On okay. Sesame Street, because <clears throat> these groups were saying that they're both men. Mm. So a bunch of jokes were written for that. So are Bert and Ernie gay? It should be the one. Go. Are Bert and Ernie gay? Virus? You got Go. a punchline on that. The virus. People are talking about funny. Bert and Ernie. What do you got? Sesame Street. Virus is a <laughs> funny guy. Music. What do you got? 
got 30 seconds to come up with a punchline or he gets shocked. Yes, he does. Actually, he's got about 10, ten seconds, seconds right now. Come on, virus, go. That's Joke. Ten. Bert and Ernie, one punchline from the virus. That's all you need is just to be able you to know who they are? Seven, three, two, one, one. zero. Oh, well. <laughs> what happened there, Virus? <laughs> virus, all you have to do is come up with one punchline. That's it, and you don't get shocked. One more. I think you can only handle one more, Jimmy. Yeah. One more topic for the virus where he gets shot. Hey, can, you put, hey, can you put the... Here's what I'll do. It's the same thing as dogs. Yeah. I'll put the thing, and, and, I'll, and, I'll, and ten seconds left, Will... We'll just, oh, 10 seconds. Right. That's the warning just, buzzer. That's the, the warning, warning buzzer. buzzer. But he has to have a mic by his mouth, though, in case he needs it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Crank it up. Yeah, just hold the mic. E-Rock. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Now, now, crank it up another notch. Yeah, okay. one more notch. This is it. This is the final one. That's fair. Uh, uh, yeah, so you might as well so go what? up a couple of notches. What are you up to, Patrice? That was on seven. All right. Yeah. All right. He's got to go eight. <laughs> but, go eight. But you come up with a punchline, you don't get the eight. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Jimmy, give him the last subject. It's on eight now. What eight out of ten. Do the dog night. shot collar. It was, hold on. We did Walmart clothes. We did, uh. Prejean. Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Prejean. <laughs> a finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear that sound. <laughs> um, how about. <laughs> Something easy. I'm trying to get something easy. So wrong. I don't, I don't even have a fucking hot topic. Are right you alright, Eric? No. I mean, um. He's not happy. Fucking, what's his name? The virus. The virus, I'm sorry. V. Yo, V. You, you okay? Michael Jackson's movie. Look at Steve making sure this oh. doesn't drop dead. How about Michael Jackson's movie? Michael Jackson's Michael Jackson. Jackson. right. movie. Alright, let's set this up. Virus. The Michael Jackson movie. You got 30 seconds or to Michael come Jackson. up with any type of punchline Punch about Michael Jackson. If you don't do it in 30 seconds, you get shocked with uh, an 8 out of 10 on the dog shock collar and go! go. Hmm. Time's a ticket. Michael Jackson's One movie. One punchline about Michael Jackson or Michael movie. Jackson's movie. Come on. Don't dare yell out some hack Michael Jackson. Come on. 15 either. seconds ago. God for one punchline from the virus. Come on, virus. You think you got one, virus? Here he goes. Got one punchline about Michael Jackson or Michael Jackson's movie. Oh, no. Four, three, oh, two, oh. one. <laughs> 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 hit, him, hit him again. I can't. Oh, you okay? Virus, you okay? Virus, you alright? What happened? That hurt. Virus, you okay? Who would do this to their dog? Virus we ain't were, talking. We just did. Virus, you alright? You alright, Virus? Yeah. <clears throat> What's the matter? What's going on? <laughs> that hurt? Feels like you just got stabbed. <laughs> well, oh, fill in the virus scary. character. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. All right, let's uh, yeah. thank the virus. Yeah, thank you, virus. I guess we shouldn't give him one more for good measure. No, we take it. Just off. keep shocking him until he takes the collar off. <laughs> take it off. Yeah, take it off. Virus, take it off. Yeah, take, take it off, off the quick. virus quick. Quick, because he's gonna get you. <laughs> no, I can't. You can't I do it. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that oh, looks good. Oh, you got a couple of holes in your leg. Oh, jeez. Fucking virus. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> Iraq. I know. Uh, Let it be known, by the way. I, I'm stepping out of character. Iraq has oh. never said no to us. That's right. He's done everything Unless, we've ever asked. That's a great cop. Until we asked him right? to fucking make us a DVD for Leno's right? people and he gave oh, us a CD. Oh, that's right. Iraq, what happened with that? What? When I wanted you to make a DVD last week, but you made a CD audio. Remember, I asked you to burn up the to cut up the photo. Shock him, yeah. he's got a puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know. The fucking DVD <laughs> I gave you, the video. I caught that up and I handed it to you. Yeah, but I want, you made it a CD. If this was oh, NEW, would you put it on his neck, Obi? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to put it on his neck today. Oh, I haven't learned any <laughs> lessons. <laughs> I haven't learned any lessons. These guys keeping the show sane. All right. I'll do one on the neck, but it can't be at eight. All right, nine. <laughs> oh, you're saying the other way. All right. Wait, is this an encore? Steve is outside on the ground doing the, the curly from the three stooges behind his What? Fucking the... 
It's what? up to you, man. You can say no. Are you stopping this bit? No, I'm Steve? not stopping it. Here, move the mic. We're getting crazy feedback. Right. Get rid of one of those mics. Why would you do it on your neck? Because he's. Why he, do you want to do He wants to be a hero. The back or the front? Well, any part doesn't matter. Dude, it's like, how are we going to get this collar around that big neck of yours? It'll go, but, dude, this is not Patrice O'Neill's call. I'm visiting. I'm just promoting the you stress factor. Move the mic away. What's that, you Just dump it. He what are you saying, shocked. Rock? He was shocked pretty good on his leg, I think. Oof. Yeah, I think we did. You know, <laughs> yeah. This is where we yeah, always yeah, fuck yeah. up. You know yeah. what? Yeah, it's you know not, what? This is where we it. always <laughs> fuck up. You yes. got a good reaction. Exactly. We got Everyone got good video. <laughs> you know, you're right. right. We want to take right. it to that next step. You're, you're right. And the next step is usually right out the fucking door. We just learned. Oh, so let's no. just you're so leave it at right. that. Oh, I know. Ah, yes. Just leave it. Iraq. The thought of, yeah, Xerox did a good job. He the fucking thought of, did here's, a great here's, job. Here's what we just did. We reached the crossroad right there in that decision. One was right here where we are. Mm -hmm. The other crossroad, the one we didn't take, is us going, oh, my God, waiting for an ambulance yeah. to, to <laughs> revive a dead e -rock on the floor. <laughs> on his neck. And uh, uh, us going, oh, my God, we did it again. The calls were Bob, that. We need an investigation. We're fired. Shock jocks. Shocking shock their fucking employees. You know what we would, it was a whole big thing. You, you would be heroes. No, we would be Peter. Alternate universe. Anthony. We just, we just but went to an alternate universe. Dr. Look, Steve texted me, no neck. Well, okay. while he was on the floor, though... He was though, just talking yeah. about E-Rock, <laughs> calling him no neck. But, <laughs> but they made it They made it for fucking dogs. dogs. Right. Yeah. It's not like their fucking makeup is any... They yeah, have voice kinda, boxes. kind of is, and like, if the dog dies when you fucking hit it, it's not that big a deal. Wait, wait, you bury dogs sue. in your yard. I was going to say that you know? exact fucking yeah. thing. The difference, you could just bury it you in the backyard and no one will know the, the difference. The cops aren't going to show up with forensics and uh, <laughs> right. figure out what happened to the dog. Right. There were two unusual marks in the dog's neck. We didn't know what it was. All right. DNA was found on the tips of the electrodes that matched a he fucking took a, he took hippopotamus. A, he took an eight. <laughs> took I, would, an eight. I wouldn't go past a seven. No, no. He took a fucking eight. And I was scared because I might have high blood pressure. And that's why I was like, nah, this shit's probably... This has <laughs> to be as much as one you. of those things they say, clear. <laughs> yeah, I think... yeah, It's, what is it? High voltage, low amperage. What's that mean? What the fuck are you talking about, a mingler? So that 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 means you'll get the shock out of it, but it's not the uh, the amperage level's very low, so it doesn't kill you. Is that what kills it's, you? That's amperage? what stun guns are. They're like, you know, 10,000 volts, but the amperage is very, very low. But if you get, Tell that to that fucking Russian dude in Canada. Well, occasionally things do get fucked up. <laughs> Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. Now, fuck all that, man. That shit is... Fuck that. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I'm sitting there going, I, I don't think a fucking person, unless you... Uh, like a, if, if you did it to an old person. Yeah. But like I said, my dog is what, eight months or some shit like that. And yeah. he's a pretty... Young, vibrant dog. He, he's one of those... And he's a, he's a, what they call a hardy dog. Like, yeah. he's a fucking... You could throw him against a wall and he just <laughs> yeah. try to chew through he'll just keep, it's just one of those dogs just just keep made to keep going right, right. tasmanian devil yeah, yeah and uh if i if he the face he made he's never made that face like of oh Aww. oh jeez so so he, you know it hurts man yeah so he took an eight fucking god bless him and he has big juicy meaty thighs <laughs> oh, fucking, yeah. all right with that, let's take a break uh, yeah. Find them eating that fish alive. You want to see Barbaric? Okay. Yeah, we'll do that after the break. We got Patrice O'Neill at the Stress Factory starting tonight. Tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Thank you. In New Brunswick, New Jersey. And uh, Hold before you go. I got to plug one. Yeah, I, go we only got today and tomorrow. Go. I'm, I'm at the Stress Factory next Wednesday. Early show has six seats available. Late show has some seats available. It's the night before Thanksgiving. You're promoting a show that... No, no, late show has seats available. Oh. Early show has only six. Wait, Joe. Yeah, that oh. sounds like a show you don't need to promote. It looks oh, like it's going to be a nice sell. He's fucking savage. Let's do it after the break so he can spend some time on the, the fish thing, all right? All right. Uh, we go backstage. Wait. Yesterday, we had Tony Clifton in with a couple cleavage broads, and Ant uh, was trying to make some time with one of the broads. Uh, it's a little, he made a uh, nice little effort. I was a little smitten. Yeah, and One Sam, of the hose bags. Sam went backstage to get the, the scoop from Anthony. Oh. And now, backstage with ONA. Here is Primetime Sam Roberts.
I'm primetime Sam Roberts. Legendary singer, comedian, and entertainer Tony Clifton stopped by the Opie and Anthony show along with a young drunk woman who he claimed to be his adopted daughter. Anthony took quite a fancy to the young lady, so we caught up with Tony Clifton after his appearance to get his opinion. So Tony, how do you think uh, how do you think your appearance on the Opie and Anthony show went today? I think it went very well. I think we we're all pros. We're all sitting there pros. Did you see exchanging jokes back and forth? These guys are I stumped they stumped me a few times. And I think I stumped them a few times. So this is good. This is like, you know, this is like brothers in comedy. Anthony was making some inappropriate comments about your well, adopted you I daughter. Know, I know. Did you see me stop that? I'm for real. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, if he would have gone just that much, I was going to, you know, because she's my, you know, she's a hot piece of ass, but she's still my daughter. You should treat her with a little bit of respect. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to make a nice lady out of her, trying to teach her to keep herself clean down there, the hygiene, to do it right. Mm -hmm. Always stink it up for the guys or anything like that, you know? But I think I'd like to, yeah, Anthony, he's got to be making some money, right? Oh, yeah, he's and got he's a nice single. mansion, a pool. Yeah, he's very well, single. He got, well, I'm telling you, he should outgun the number. You call me, you call the publicist, and we'll set that up. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I mean, she's hot now, right? Yeah. And she's a young girl, a very young girl. You know, she put together great. I'm telling you, it's a great fucking piece of ass. You know. A, well, I don't care. She's underage. So i got to watch what I say. Yeah, but I'm telling you, you know, but she's going to be 18 soon. You could take her out on her birthday right at the strike of midnight. Fuck her. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think what? it'd make a nice uh, son-in-law. While we were talking to the great Tony Clifton, Anthony was trying to kick his game to the young lady in question. We managed to get a moment with Anthony after the show to find out what happened. So, uh, Ant, you made a new friend today. How did things go with Tony Clifton's adopted daughter? Well, uh, I would say made a new friend. Uh, I, I wished I, I'd gotten to know her a little more, had a little more time. Uh, I thought she was very cute. She was um, very much my type of yeah. girl, uh, young and drunk. Yeah. But there's no uh, exchange of commun like uh, telephone number or email communication. No, I returned her uh, pocketbook uh. or her purse, uh, if you will, and uh, I was hoping something there was to be some kind of connection there, but I just didn't feel I could make that step and ask for a number or some shit like that. So uh, it's one of those things that just kind of. It's gone. Maybe, maybe in the future, at some point, we'll run into each other, and I'll be able to go, "Hey, remember that time? Oh, yeah." And then, and, and then, then it's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, hell, yeah, yeah. If she is underage, is that yeah. an issue? Uh, never has been. Why would it be now? <laughs> I, I am willing to run what a lot of guys don't. A farm team. See, I like like the minor leagues. Yeah. And then when you're ready, you bring them up. All right. Well, great. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm at the elevator. This interview is done. Sorry, Anthony. Better luck next time. But remember, there are plenty of very young fish in the sea. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with O&A. Um, Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Yeah. Chris so O'Neill is in the studio along with Daniel. Kenny's suit is here. It's cream colored. <laughs> and, um, Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Oh, wow. Happy Thanksgiving to you, O. Happy Thanksgiving, Jimmy. Yeah, Anthony. Well, Happy Danny. Thanksgiving. To you too. Happy Thanksgiving. I Absolutely. fucking hate candied fucking vegetables. Candy yams and no one candies broccoli or spinach. There's uh, no such thing as candy. They candy uh, uh what, what's those things? Candy carrots. Yes. Yeah. They're fucking no, they're horrendous. Not. I'd rather drink out of a bedpan. <laughs> fucking no, candy. Yes, I certainly would. Soft candy, just you, despicable. First of all, you're not a cook. No, I'm an eater. That's exactly yes. it. I know what I like. Candy is is just a process. Sh little sugar, butter, and you just cook it until it's until it's just yeah, tasty and delicious. Glaze it's not all delicious. Over it. It you enjoy, right, my friend? Yeah, I eat. Some I enjoy candy. A candy Snickers bar. I'd love you candy eat, yams. <laughs> you would eat candy fucking carrots. Yeah, why yeah. not? They no suck way. dick. Just you cook them in butter and no a little sugar no. until mm -hmm. they're soft and and tenderoni. It's fucking yeah. horrible. It's like eating fucking entrails. Here's <laughs> what I don't like. At that point, you should I don't eat like, candy. I don't like garlic mashed potatoes. I, they're I, lovely. I like oh, regular, good. I like regular those. mashed yeah. potatoes. Regular mashed potatoes are very good. Uh, a little, I, I practiced the grub, but I got a free uh, from Pathmark. If you buy three hundred dollars oh. worth of food, uh. you get um, a free turkey. Oh, nice. I got me a, a little free ten pound turkey, All right. uh -huh. and and brined it. Uh, 24 hours. You brine it. Brine my turkey, and How then do you I brine it. What's you, that? You put it's a, just you just you just soak your turkey for 24 hours. And how bad is turkey that they're giving it away for free? You don't seem giving away the fucking nice steaks or anything because for free people just because you spent 300 dollars 365 <laughs> times, 
uh, uh, 365 days a year steak is bought. Yeah. Turkey, you don't see turkey. You see turkey like you see eggnog, or you see uh, it's it's very seasonal. <laughs> very fucking seasonal. What's that? Uh, if if we like it on Thanksgiving, why are we eating it all year long? Because it's annoying to cook. Who? When? Are you, when? When is your wife going to cook a dinner where the bird takes six hours? Yeah, that's not. Worth Someone it. said three hundred dollars worth of food was Patrice buying some snacks. Come on, folks. Oh damn. Da -da 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 so now. The fucking um, grilled turkey is fantastic. Now, grill, how the fuck do you grill a turkey? You fucking brine it. <laughs> you brine it, so now it's about you put 25 it in some hours. Salt water. salt water and some different concoctions. And some vinegar. You god damn it! You get your your charcoal and mm -hmm. your and your your chalk and your and your smoke chips. I had I had uh, mesquite oh, available oh, already. Nice. I'm fucking good. Don't yeah. overdo it though. No. I I think I overdid the you smoke flavor, it? so I'm gonna lessen it. For Thanksgiving. Smug. Now, how long does it take to grill a fucking turkey? Four hours. So the heat's got to be pretty low. No, it's 355, 350 350? degrees. 400 degrees. You get it nice and hot. You, you, you put it over to the side. Uh -huh. And you when that shit's 350 to 400 degrees, that fucker, you open it up, it's pretty. And then you cook that bitch. So wait, how many? You have to keep turning the turkey. Look at his little legs up no. in the air. He hates that <laughs> poor little fella. No, <laughs> you don't keep feather. turning it. He wants his stomach scratched. Shuk, shuk, shuk. <laughs> you fucking just cook you it. You just leave it there. Looks like you got a there. good fisting. It it sure does. Got a fucking I bet that cave. skin is fucking great. Crispy like uh, turkey skin chips. sucks. Oh, barbecue like that? I uh, fucking hate turkey skin. I'm just so, I love chicken, chicken, turkey chicken skin. skin. I'll go right. chicken skin any time. No way. Chicken skin's fatty. Turkey skin owns. Oh, turkey skin's not fatty? No, it's delicious. Well, it's delicious and Fantastic. fatty. Fantastic. I actually fucking, I make turkey skin visors and I hand them out. Everybody plays cards. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I certainly do. Hey, so, uh, we got Keith in San Francisco. Keith? Hey, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Hey, I just want to say, Anthony, have a barbecue turkey, and you'll never go back to a uh, oven oven uh, brine turkey. It's the best. Why is it the best? Really? Do you know what? Just because flavor. it locks in all the juices, and you get the flavors from the barbecue, and you can throw some wood chips on there and smoke it a little bit. You have I mean, a deep you don't fried turkey. Too much. You have a deep fried turkey. I it, had a deep fried turkey. It, that's awesome too. You yeah. Uh, Somebody said that's the. Be I, I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, and yeah. the idea of deep frying a turkey makes me sick to think about <laughs> yes. it. But I've I've never been told that it's not, if not the best thing they've ever eaten. It was the second best turkey. They it was eat. ridiculously good and juicy and tender. Yeah, pe yeah. People really enjoy some some weird. Uh, yeah, it's just just some just some weird. Uh, yeah, why don't we go to Brendan and uh, wait? Let me. Uh, yeah, Rob on Long Island. I want to uh, oh, wait, plug. Uh, let me see who I want to go to here. Uh, let me. <laughs> Yeah, let's say hi yeah. to Brendan in San Diego. Right. Brendan. Yeah, I'll be um is, appearing this what? Yeah, deep frying turkey is the best way to Dude, do it. Dude, your phone yeah, is I shit. Do. Dude, your phone is shit. No. <laughs> I can't hear you. How's this? It's fine. Right. Deep frying turkey is the best turkey, boys. It's not the best turkey I've eaten, you fucking idiot. No, it is, Jimmy. You gotta do it right if you ever do it. Dude, I fucking eat. I had to eat right, stupid. I open my mouth and I chew. It's not good. You gotta cook it right. I don't fucking cook. I eat, dummy. I've had the fucking deep fried turkey and it's not good. Your phone is shit. You're not hearing right. It's the best turkey. It's not the best turkey, you redundant asshole. It's not. It's the best. Fucking hang up. It's not the best. Good, sit there, stupid, and listen. <laughs> I love Mean Jimmy. <laughs> mean Jimmy rules. <laughs> oh, fucking Mean Jimmy. Yeah, that was a Mean Jimmy. That was a good right, Mean just Jimmy. Just say that. Just say that. Don't explain too much. I love it. <laughs> the people out there are getting get. Uh, I've actually had that kind of turkey. It sounds oh, yeah. delicious. It is. It, it really is good. It sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch. It's not uh, frozen, though. The turkey's got to be completely thawed out because you put frozen fucking turkey into uh, hot oil, 
That fucking thing oh, explodes. It, has to be, it literally explodes. It can't have one drop of water, water on it. it. Yeah, it, it's it's just really? I've seen it. I've looked. It, people say it's the best tasting turkey they ever had. So I'm wait, just wait not you deep fry with water on it? What happens? Fucking it water explodes. and oil is like you know. You'll I've heard that and I would have never it. known. You go to YouTube and see all the disasters with people trying to fucking deep fry their turkeys. It's, wait a minute, it's great. How do you get water off the turkey? You you have to. It's a process. It's a it. fucking process. <laughs> I would have had no idea. I would have thrown a frozen turkey in there and burned down the entire apartment. You would, you would kill yourself. The apartment? No, you got to do this outside. Yeah, yeah, you you can't fuck do it inside. inside. No. No. How long would it take? And he's dead serious too. Uh, yeah, and sometimes you know you never know with Jimmy, I'm but serious. he's dead. You don't fucking fry. Uh, <laughs> that has to be out in the park. You can only fry a turkey on the. Oh, turn the uh, volume up. Yeah, sure. This is a deep fried turkey going <laughs> in the apartment, huh, Jim? <laughs> All right, what do you do? So now what we got? Your turkey is burnt, your fryer's ruined, and maybe you set your house on fire. Get the point? Don't do this. This is a PSA. Sure the Fuck the PSA. It's all burnt completely. Frying. And never put too much oil in your fryer. Always fry outdoors and away from anything that might catch on fire. Be sure to keep children and pets away from your fryer. What if your pet was your turkey? Always read your Silly. owner's manual for proper setup and oh, safety. Manual. And here's something else you have to do. I'm half a cop fire. Have here's something else you have to do. You what you do is you put. You have to put water. This is a fucking process. Yeah, it is. You have to put water in it first, and you have to try to f match the amount of water that you would that would be oil to 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 figure out how much. So you have to put your your bird. In the, in the water first oh, to, know how to much see it's how displace much place the fucking yes. oil. So as soon as yeah. it starts spilling over the top, that's what causes then these crazy fires. Then you pour that fires. water out, and then you got to dry that's that out for an hour, and then dry the bird oh, off. That. It. That's Go to a restaurant. Oh. It's just I started going to a restaurant for Thanksgiving. God, it's the best ever. They do everything for you. All right. Well, that's not the you know. <laughs> I why know don't you have to? Why don't you fucking have a uh, Walmart deliver your kids Christmas presents right like right I at don't the door? Have kids. Like, you know, fucking. It's the holidays. I understand that. The holidays are made for another family member to do all that. And a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoy a nice, nice cooking. Well, are we going to do uh, turkey recipes or, or are we going to move on? I say we move on. Are we on. doing traffic and weather together and turkey re recipes or you want to move on? You want to hear about the yeah. rape joke on uh, the Yes. Video? That's interesting. Huh? I want to hear about that. Yeah, let's see what this is about. Uh, Sophie from, okay, ABC's Modern Family making a rape joke on The View. Let's see how it went down. I think it's okay. <laughs> You're a single mom of a teenage son yes, who's yeah. 18. I God, know, you look so good. Cool. I cannot lie about my age because they count and they, you know. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I what can't. What when you were 12? Yeah, 13. 13. Yeah. I was raped. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. She's a goddamn liar. <laughs> Damn. There, there's commotion over that. Whatever. Very badly raped, you yes, see. Yes. Oh, here's Mythbusters uh, putting water. We got a thermistor to check how hot it's getting. We got eight ounces of water to dump on it once we catch it on fire. And we got a gauge to tell us if the fireball we get is, in fact, 30 feet tall. Two quarts of canola oil and some water. 30 feet fireball. No. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Season. I think that was just the trailer for the episode. Oh, I watched it. And it. They, dude, they get like thirty feet, thirty feet of fire, just from just from a few ounces of water and some boiling hot oil. That's oil and up. water don't go together. I don't no, know why no. I didn't realize that. Uh, 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 they don't. Because so, what happens is when you when you pour the water into the because the oil is so hot that the water instantly turns to steam and starts rising, but it's bringing oil with it, so it kind of atomizes the oil and Aww. it catches fire at the same nice. time. What a team. Oh, shit, so it's basically yo. just like flaming steam. And it just gets over everything. Flaming Steve? <laughs> yes. Oh, steam. I think he said flaming clothing. <laughs> I like flames on my boots. Don't throw water on me. I'll explode. You know, different different proportions of oil and water will create different flames. Oh. But in an ideal situation, you could t you could get a 30-foot fire. So do you think, do kitchen. people usually fry in their inside or no? Only little things. Yeah, little what? stuff. Potato yeah, chicken chips. Stuff. Chicken. Ooh, uh, You're not going to burn yourself up doing that, will you? No, but you'll burn yourself up. You can't. You can't. You can't. Spill some uh, water in there. Yeah, don't the worst thing people do with an oil fire, grease fire on their stovetop is take water and throw it on it. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed it's to use baking soda if you don't have that, or salt. A lot of salt. Who has salt? Uh, something dry. You know, oh, you should have an extinguisher around. Yeah, yeah. Like but, anybody that's has but a, a kitchen. What about really? a blanket? 
I guess I should get yeah. one. You don't, have a, you don't have a fire extinguisher? You don't have a fire extinguisher at your though, house? Don't no, matter. I don't. You should have, well, you should have a little fucking I got a few of them strategically placed around the house. Damn it, that's a good idea. Are they easy to use? What's that? Fire extinguisher. Yeah. Yes. What do you yeah. do? Let's pull, just unplug some pull shit. Pull pin, Take squeeze a pin and handle. Squeeze. And a, and a, and a, There's and different types for different fires, though. You gotta get like the you gotta the just good get ones, like, um, ones. You don't have time to figure out which fucking fire extinguisher. I to never use thought of that. If your house is burning down. Well, yeah, you gotta get an all-purpose one, but you know, like it's not water. You, you don't want water. Water sucks. I have a little fire hose Maybe. near my near my garage door. It's like a whole fire station at, at the house. It's like a little thing, and the, the, and the cabinet opens up. So there's a fire hose in there, what a and dork. there's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> no, we're all just getting oh, angry at your fire extinguisher. Fucking station. nerd. I get a little a red hat. hat you put up. And I get, you got if you know that, that's if if your car is fucking on fire in in your garage or something, uh, it's right by the garage door. You get a big hose, you just hit it and <laughs> fucking high pressure water. The one thing I, about fire extinguishers, though, make sure you you definitely want to use it. Make sure you, you need to use it. Because I had a bat in my kitchen, and I decided the best way to get rid of the bat was with my fire extinguisher. Just fucking pick it up and, and put it with the glove and ball. I completely destroyed my kitchen with well, all that the dust. the chemical. Yeah. yeah the, that's the it bad. was powder never everywhere. I never got rid of all, I never got rid of I all the use, powder. I had to use one of those yellow powder fire extinguishers once. And I didn't know it was going to come out like powder. I got. I had a bat. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to push the bat toward the open door with this fire extinguisher. There was I a figured fire I'd push it out. In, a, in the dryer. Like something got caught in the dryer, so the motor was spinning, but yeah. the, the drum wasn't going. Oh shit! So uh, I, you know, I knew where the fire extinguisher was. Like you're very calm and relaxed, and I put the fire out. But that yellow powder chemical what shit. Fuck! This was in the basement. The it went everywhere throughout the, uh, throughout the entire house. Everywhere, basically. all like yeah. all over the basement, all over the first floor. Yeah. If you just took your finger and wiped it on any surface, you were gonna have all that yellow chemical powder. I had a motherfucking there. bat circling over my head all night long. When I was uh, sleeping on the couch back in the day, <laughs> and I thought I was dreaming that there was a bat, but sure enough, in the morning, that fucking bat was just hanging out in the corner sleeping. I'm like, I I wasn't dreaming that. This thing was just circling all night over my head. Uh, and I creepy. took care of it, and then it ended up in the kitchen. I said, you know what? I'm taking a fire extinguisher to this motherfucker. No, I, 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 by the way, I threw out a monumental bomb. Oh damn it! That nobody, I can't well, believe. catch it on the replay. Do we have it? Travis, I can't believe oh, no Travis one has it, it right now. He, was that yeah. Travis getting Because he saw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh boy, did I? <laughs> oh shit! Hang Hang on. Let's see. I just got to find it. Hang on. It was a, a, a. It was a, a monumental. Oh damn! I would have gotten the same reaction as if you were talking. I just rolled a grape on the table. <laughs> 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 All right, I, I got it. If you want to hear. Okay, well, here it is. Because I had a bat in my kitchen, and I decided the best way to get rid of the bat was with my fire extinguisher. Just fucking pick it up and, and put I it with the glove and ball. completely destroyed my kitchen. <laughs> Wait, just do what? Pick it up and put it with your glove and ball. <laughs> you said that? I know. I'm embarrassed I even thought it. Oh, that, oh, that is horrible. That, that didn't bomb as much as it was just ignored. I know. I, 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 I thought that I, I just. Nigh. I dreamt that I said it. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. <laughs> I love that Dom DeLuise clip. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, but if you get a fire extinguisher, don't get the I'll get one, man. Fucking dust or whatever. Should I get a foam, the white foam? No, no foam. What, what, you get what are they supposed to get? get either CO2 or what am I going to get? The like, the which is the one that's use, they easy use, cleanup? They don't use Halon anymore, but there's a type that's like Halon. It's a, it's a like colorless gas that you just... <laughs> Kind of comes out a little white. It looks like white, but it's just the pressure thing, and it just puts the fucking fire out. Fire, what one would put right, out the grease fire? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Gets rid of the oxygen. Yeah, fires yeah. out, and now what's the cleanup like besides what the fire did? There's nothing. Oh, how, so that's about, the one you want, Jimmy. The cleanup is you, you're still alive. Yeah, like, don't, <laughs> yeah. How about like, fuck the white dust. But if you have a don't choice on fire extinguisher, don't get and the one that you, sprays powder. First of all, when you spray the, the bat place. once, then you realize it was powder, and then you go, "Well, let me stop that and get something else." At that point, a it rake? didn't matter. Ask Danny. You you hit that fire extinguisher once, it don't matter. Dude. You might as well just unload the whole fucking thing at that point. This shit it's goes well, everywhere because it's meant right to off do the that. Bat. It's meant to do that. You know, it's it's meant to go airborne and extinguish anything that could. Potentially it's, be on fire. It's so. unbelievable. It does its job, but it's and a, that it's fucking a bat was like white and still flying. It, it wasn't even affected. Finally, I think I finally threw a towel over or something, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. It's a black chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember that? What's that from? <laughs> yeah, wow. It's a black. It's a black chicken. 
You remember, what's that from? What is that from? <laughs> Love at First Bite. Yeah, it was oh, the Warren, uh, uh, the fucking Warren uh, Hutton movie or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Leslie right. Nielsen and shit. Leslie okay. Nielsen, it's okay. What do you want to do next? <laughs> so wait, what should I get that gas? I got to get a fire extinguisher now. Yeah. Get the one well, asshole. Get a fire well, that's, that's, if you got a choice, yeah. get the one asshole. <laughs> get a fire extinguisher. <laughs> will, will that put out the, uh, will that, will that put out the fucking grease fire? Well, I'll put out yeah. anything. Yeah. It totally, like, removes why, the why, oxygen why the from around. Grease fire I don't know. I never saw that before. Now I'm a frightened. Jimmy's never fuckers. used his kitchen, but now he's going to get a fire I do. I use my kitchen. What are you, how, what are you cooking? I think the kitchen over there at the arms. It's a good size place. Kitchen's a good size. Jimmy's, Jimmy's got, got a nice kitchen. You get a few fire extinguishers. You, you have, what do you have? You have a house. gourmet kitchen? I got a shitty kitchen. I'm going to redo my kitchen, I decided. What, what's it called? The one shitty you said the gas? New York City. I know they used to have, I have a great kitchen. I don't for know New York. if they still sell Halon uh, extinguishers. What are we doing? I'm not sure. Hey, man, you fucking guys, you know, you, you oh, guys we got have Ken is here. You only got a few Ken Jong is here. Get him the fuck in here. Oh, bring him in. Right. I think he's cutting some liners. If you want, you can take a break or is something. He? Why is he No, no, you only got a few minutes. Why are they cutting liners first? Yeah, fuck the liners. You get him in. Ken Jong. Dr. Ken? Fucking from uh, Role Models. It used to be a movie Dr. I Ken. really loved. Hangover, which I liked. He wasn't in it as much, though, but he was, he was the nude Asian with no penis. So let's make sure we bring that up. No penis mm. on this Ken Jong. Yeah. You've never seen Hangover. No, I yes. didn't. Comes out of the trunk of the car with no penis. No penis. Yeah. He has no penis. What the fuck is that about? You saw the movie, right? <laughs> I did not. So the stereotypes. Who the fuck saw the movie the besides me? You didn't see Hangover either? You don't watch movies. I saw Role Model. You liked it? It made me laugh. I, it gets yeah, funnier the I more said. I was like, I was like, yeah, it made me laugh. Yeah, it made me laugh. It wasn't who, like... who brought him in there, and why are they not bringing him in here when we know we have a limited time with why somebody? Why the hell are we not bringing him in here? Who gives a shit if someone goes, hi, I'm Ken Jeong. It's amazing. And, and this is Opie and Anthony. I don't give a Fucking shit about they, that stuff. We don't, we don't, the guy who wants to like 10, 15 because he has other press. So, so what are they why? doing? He's, what? he's got a lot of stuff. What's Ken F? Ken Jong. Hi, Ken. Hey, guys. What's, What's up, buddy? Hey, yes. Hello, man. What's up? Keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah, over there. How are you doing? Oh, you don't have to come all the way over here, Ken. All right, here we go. Why are you all dressed up nice, Ken? I just, um, I just did today's shows. I just came from the today. Oh, really? oh, look how wow. nice he is in person. Yeah. In role models, you were such a dick. <laughs> but in person, he's like just a king. nice guy. Ken's just coming in king. fucking all Asian. He like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, hello, I, hello, I, do, hello. I, do, I do that. That's the thing. What does the matter with you, man? I really uh, like born in the United States. I still like fucking bow. It's you can like, see the push. <laughs> though. It's so bad. You can see the push. The yeah. push. You can see the Kim Jong push. Yeah. And, and somebody told him to get rid of doctor. I know you fucking did the doctor. Oh, you can call me doctor, Ken. I don't care. About nah, but you don't do that anymore, like on stage. Oh, and oh shit. no, I don't do that anymore on stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, I used to play guitar. But everyone, and... yeah, everyone says you should. I call. It? I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't care. Do, yeah. Yeah, don't call. Me. Wait, <laughs> Ken, you're in that show with. Uh, is that with uh, um, Michael Anthony Michael Hall and? Uh, oh God, Joe McHale. Oh, Joe McHale. Yeah, yeah, yeah comedian. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Community is a. I've, I haven't seen enough, but everyone is talking about community, and what I've seen, I, I do love it. And I, I said yesterday, i got to make some time to DVR the show and watch it. Right, right. It's Thanks, really bro. fucking good. And Chevy Chase, someone that most of us want to hate, is, yeah. good in this, <laughs> is good in this show. No, he brings it, man. It's just really cool. He definitely, he definitely like... Uh you know, working with him has been great. He brings prick his to work, prick to work with, all right. He's been fine with me. I'll be honest. You <laughs> know, you know, you hear about it, but it's just like, yeah. I, you know, it's just I don't know if he's at a, you know, he's just at a point in his life. I remember saying something when I met him. I was like, you know, I'm just a huge fan. And he was like, you know what? I'm just old enough to appreciate that. You know, that was really cool. Like, yeah, was like, he, he kind of got a reputation over the oh, years yeah, of being oh, a little yeah. difficult. Yeah, we've all heard it. But yeah, I, yeah. We, I found oh, I find him great. His wife is like, I think I think I keep saying like we, we've been over to his house and. He had that cast over to his house before the show began, and like he was really nice to my wife and my kids. I had two baby girls, and like Janie would go out of her way to make sure my girls had stuff to play with. And white it, girl, Ken? Uh, yeah, they're two. Yeah, we adopted in reverse. No, no, no. Two, uh, you have an Asian wife. Oh no, no, I have an Asian wife. Do you? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Wait, he's, he's not truly Hollywood. He didn't leave his own yeah. kind. No, of I, shit. Didn't, I haven't gone Hollywood yet. No, Wait, no. I haven't. Did you really adopt? No, no, I didn't. I'm oh, that I was, would be, I was that would be It's hilarious. too competitive to keep up. I was trying to keep up. That's all. <laughs> hey, uh, what's the show about? Because I heard it's good and I've never seen it. Yeah, community it's College. A, it's about Community College. Joe McHale plays, um, he's a, he's a lawyer who, uh, basically is, uh, found out that the, the law, the Met law board found out that he did not, uh, graduate from college in the United States. So, so he gets disbarred and now is forced to complete his college degree. He goes to a community college and that's where it starts. So the pilot started from him at the college, like pissed off. 
not in a good, you know, just kind of in a bad place. So then he meets all these Motley Crue characters, and then I played a Spanish teacher upon which the pilot was based on. Who does, uh, who's Anthony Michael Hall play? Anthony Michael Hall is going to appear, uh, I think, in the... Christmas episode where he plays a he, he's actually oh he's not in the cast yeah yeah he, he has a guest star in it but he's great he's, okay. he's wicked fun I mean he's really funny and he brings it it's really funny hey was that your penis in Hangover yeah <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry. It was a last. What are you minute. doing? I know it was literally a last second decision. Yeah. And I just it was um it was my idea. I pitched it to Todd Phillips, the director, and I said, uh, <laughs> would it be okay if I do? I just felt like it was. I was supposed to come out of the trunk with my pants on or my slacks on. I said, I think it'd be funny if I, it, it, you know if I could try it naked. And not thinking he would, but it, I was there, serious about the idea, but I didn't think he would bite, you know, he would go for it. And he was like, he literally said, you don't have to ask me twice. And he was just like, do <laughs> it. And then we did it. And then he was just like, and he made me sign in like a nudity waiver within like half an hour. Like, well, you have to sign a nudity yeah, waiver? I had, sign my, I had to sign my nudity, uh, like a nudity clause saying like, I, I agree to be. I, <laughs> fucking lawyers. <laughs> Is now nudity waivers? Yeah. I mean, it's more important for... Oh, don't give this place a, an idea. <laughs> right. Somebody Imagine. must have sued, though. Somebody probably sued. Right. Yeah, what is that based on? For, for actresses, really primarily for women in film. You know, you don't want to, like, you don't want to be showing their, their breasts or their cooch, like, you mm -hmm. know, on, on any... Like you know, DVD or you know, there's there's laws about that or re, how to rebroadcast nudity or right. something. So for guys, that, you know, especially for comedy nerd right. guys, that, that guys no cares. just yeah. show their dick. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? I didn't see that scene. I didn't see the movie. It's a good movie, man. <laughs> it's yeah, a it's really funny. good comedy. <laughs> no, it's so I, stupid. He goes, I didn't see the scene. <laughs> I didn't see the movie. He wisely left during the scene. I don't blame you. I didn't see that scene or uh, the Jimmy, entire film. No, I didn't see the film. <laughs> For the people that haven't seen the film, Ken Jeong is packing maybe an inch. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is, boy. is yeah. it a, gr is it a get, grower? It's a grower, not a shower, that kind of thing. It gets up to some kind of respectability. Yeah. I got the way I looked at it. And then he had the big hair. Harry fucking Bush and I had the Merkin, himself. yeah. Everyone Jesus. thought it was fake, and it was just like, yeah. I Did got you grow some... that just for the scene? No, or? I just didn't shave. I've never shaved. I've never oh done anything. You're a mess. <laughs> I, yeah. You're a mess. Yeah, it was just kind of, <laughs> I'm a mess. I mean, like, I figured, I, you know, I have two kids. I have nothing I have nothing else to prove, so I figured you just. You don't understand. You shave yes, you it do. down, it's going to look a little bigger. Yeah, dude, I had emails after the movie came out. Like, many guys have emailed yeah. me and said, like, if you shave it, you shave it. Shave around the base a little bit. Shave the sides down. You can see the push for Ken, man. You, you, you. You, you should not be thinking that. <laughs> you, will, you will fucking have it. I know you roll with the, um, the like that crew. Like they, you're in all the the fucking funny white boy movies now. Yeah. <laughs> and so you you're thought of, and you know it's gonna be you're gonna have a test. <laughs> I don't think One of them young white bitches gonna want to put that fucking that little <laughs> that little uh, nugget that, that, little, little, <laughs> that little nub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be tempted with the, yeah. yeah. What, it, it, it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. That's yeah. a plug into a bank account, as far as the drama is concerned. <laughs> is your is your, is your wife through. Asian Asian or is she American? She's Vietnamese. Like, I'm but pretty, she, she, she grew up in the United States. Yeah, she's very. We're she's, both she's Americanized. Americanized. Yeah, we're okay. both white. Right. Opinion, right. well, essentially, where do you get your Vietnamese food in New York City? I need a place. Uh, in L. A. Well, we. We live in LA. We go to I Little Saigon, it, Little Saigon, Orange County, about an hour okay. away. That's where all the best Vietnamese food. I need a food. place in the city. There's a there's yeah. a place called Mama Sons up in Rochester. The best Vietnamese food. Really? Ever. I want to bring her down here. Yeah, I want to franchise her. Oh, that would be good for cheap. What's I'm Vietnamese food? Work I've never her eaten hard it. And, and they pay her nothing. It's like Chinese food. It's, no, it's, no, but what is it? This <laughs> Vietnamese food is the best Asian food. Yeah, it's 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 like pho. It That's really like their is. signature dish, like a noodle soup. It's like pho. <laughs> Pho? Pho. I love your face. What's it called? Pho. Like, uh, I, I think P-H-O is... P-H-O. Uh, yeah. Oh, they don't pho. pronounce it pho? No, it's like uh, like Vietnamese. They say pho. Pho, pho noodles. Way yeah. tastier than Chinese. Way is it really? Yeah. It's, it's a little sweeter than Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, it's I love cleaner, Vietnamese though. food. It's, clean, it's yeah. cleaner. It's cleaner. It's fresher. Yeah, it's, cleaner. Cleaner. Yeah, it's cleaner. less heavy. It's yeah. less heavy. You're not yeah. shitting 20 minutes later? Yeah. yeah. And they have raw... And raw... Like, instead of cooking, like, a nice pho... No, no, let me tell you. They're, uh... Bean sprouts. Uncooked No, their steamed spring rolls are to die for. Yes. 
Whole I love them. Vietnamese That's my favorite good. Vietnamese dish. This just a simple yeah. spring rolls, man. Right. And they put a little cilantro on that. It's right. like a little yeah. It's just cool. What do you think of role models, man? <laughs> when that movie first came out, people uh, not much of a buzz to be honest with right, you. But it's right. in the DVR uh, DVD world, yeah. it's really it's really blowing up. Yeah, it re really. I think it's on cable right now. So yeah, now it's on like, cable. Yeah, that was ninety on, million dollars worldwide. Fucking ninety million dollars. So it's a funny movie. And usually, but that, that was a slow that, that was a slow build for that movie. I'm telling you. Right. We had Sean William Scott in. He does the show from time yeah. to time. Oh, cool! Yeah, and, and he was in he's here. Great. Yeah, he was in here promoting uh, Mr. Woodcock. And he, and he openly goes, dude, this movie sucks. No. <laughs> he, he rules for saying this. And he goes, if you want to totally see me in a rules. good movie, it was Role Models. That, uh, a lot of, uh, it was either the next movie that came out or whatever. I don't remember now. But basically, he was pushing Role Models. He wouldn't know he was supposed to push Woodcock that Are day. Are you kidding me? That's yeah. great. Much, yeah. Oh, he's a great fucking guy. I love Son. I he's mean, nuts. Yeah. He's, I remember seeing him on the red carpet. He's like, dude, this, this is the funniest movie since American Pie. You know, I've been, I mean, he was just so hyped for the movie. And yeah, it's like one of my favorite movies. I've been a part of. That's you like, play the, uh, the the king. The king, uh, yeah. The, it's, it's a just fun. The, no, that was, that was my favorite acting. It's yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's so serious as yeah. being the king. It's ridiculously funny. Yeah, that was the first. That was the first role I did a lot of kind of actually worked on, like worked on it, like as an actor. I don't mean to sound all actory and pretentious. It was like, but I, but I just I was doing like like I didn't know any of that world like Dungeons and Dragons. So I actually like went to those events and oh, really? like live events in Malibu, and I was like you know larping, I, larping, yeah, live action role play. I saw documentaries and read books. On it it's an it intense just, look. That it's had. an intense, yeah. So I was wow, like, no one's thinking, gonna fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, staying staying on the Asian thing, you, Margaret Cho, uh, when she did her show, and I, I knew this for for a fact, all American I, girl, because I, I listen to uh, white people talk. All the time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we weren't paying attention. To that Margaret Cho, um, her show have that it it fucked up work for Asians for a long time. Really? Yeah, but where they wouldn't give them parts and, oh. and no shows, nothing. And uh, right now, a lot of motherfuckers, the kid that plays Sulu in Star Trek. Yeah, John Cho. He's working. Mine, yeah. Ken's working. Fucking Bobby Lee's working. Yeah. Why did uh, she mess hold up? Hold on a minute about Bobby <laughs> Lee. Bobby Lee doesn't like Ken Jeong. Of course oh, he would. He mentioned on our show. It's like, it's like two, it's oh, like two, get two Africans audio. that's working. It's like <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're both from Nigeria and we both go to work. You know, you know Damon, you know Damon Johnson doesn't like the motherfucker that played Adam BC from Oz. You know what I'm saying? So Bobby it, it Lee, doesn't matter. Bobby Lee is nuts. I, I, I don't know if we can get the clip. Uh, oh, he's crazy. He's crazy. I think he's a little jealous that you're getting a lot of big big he, Hollywood movies right well, now. Well, I, I, I have him to thank for because one of the first guest stars I had was on it, Mad TV. He put me on, so and we did the Kim's of Comedy, yeah. so. Do y'all get along? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, well, I love him. He's, 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 he's a character. He's surprised. He didn't he's just, know that. No, I mean, Bobby you know, I, but I, I, I don't, it doesn't surprise me because he's crazy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's like what day, you know, like sometimes it's hot, cold with that guy, you know, it just is. He's a weird yeah. dude, but every time I see Bobby Lee in the comedy store in L.A., he, he walks like he's just about to go do something important. Yeah. Like, he's like, hey, 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 and he walks by you and then he just goes and stands 10 feet away and waits to go on <laughs> he's like, where are you Nelly. rushing to but that's, so Holly, nervous. but that's hollywood but that's yeah. hollywood but yeah. you can hear ken ken is tr it, you can hear it he is trying to stay humble away from hollywood <laughs> yeah but you're going to you're, yeah, but you're I'm getting gonna, big. I'm gonna crack you no I'm gonna... you're not gonna crack but you're gonna meet that thing that goes, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ken, you're in. Are you I, ready? I don't think it'll ever happen. But the good thing with him, he doesn't get recognized on the streets whatsoever. Yes, yeah. he does. Oh, he's Asian. He no, I'm Asian. I, I fit oh, in real well. God. I never get recognized. Who's <laughs> in the Kim's and Comedy? That was who? But that was Bobby Lee. That was Bobby, Steve Byrne and Kevin Chang. I saw 100 Ken uh, genres. Steve Byrne. Yeah. Who? Steve I know Byrne. Steve. Yeah, Steve's crazy. also What's a psychopath. What's the yeah, Steve all, is not too. We're all crazy. What's the other guy? Kevin Shea. Kevin Shea. I know Kevin too. Yeah, he's fine. They're all fucking funny. Guys Yoshi and, couldn't hey, get on that. He was too dirty. Hey, <laughs> you know Yoshi? I know Yoshi. He could get it. Yeah. He, he is dirty. We we got to go back to the Hangover because this is unbelievable. If this is true, Fred in Florida. Fred. You yeah. Hey, I uh, flew in from San Diego to Atlanta a couple weeks ago and was going through the movies that saw the Hangover. And my wife and I went to see it in the mo in the theater, and it was just we just out wet ourselves. But long story short, I was like, God, I wonder if they're going to put it. It was on the little headrest screen, not like down the aisle. And um, they did not, well, first of all, when it came to the pictures during the credits, they took out the elevator blowjob picture. Yeah. But more importantly, when Kim Jong-il or whoever jumped out of the phone. Kim Jong-il! Hold on a minute. The guy doesn't even know that. He's just... 
Dude, you, hold on. We don't give a shit what you have to say right at this second. You call him Ken Jong Il. Kim hold Jong-il. on a second, Fred. <laughs> no, we'll get to you in a second. Hold we want to enjoy that. Kim Jong Il came out of that car. He was just, he's fucking money. He's butt. <laughs> hold on, we're talking. Hold on. North Korean dude came out of his fucking butt. He was fucking awesome. I fucking you came out there and fucking laughed my fucking guns off, cocksuckers off, fuck out. Fred, back to you. Now what? That was awesome. Now what? Well, they had they had um, tidy whitey jockey shorts CG'd on them when he jumped out of the trunk. They they they, they took away your because it's a plane, sir. Yeah. They don't show yeah, nudity on planes. Why didn't they show that one in Scott? That's you what I got to know. They didn't, show, they didn't show the fake North Korean dictators one in Scott. And I'm a, I want my money back on that flight. Is meal. that the scene where the guy goes, that guy was crazy, or that guy was... Wild or something? Yeah, All right, thank you, friend. Yeah, we we shot we shot a scene in my friend. in my briefs yes. for for the airplane oh, for so TV. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, it wasn't CGI. It was just yeah. yeah. We yeah shot I'm surprised that he, he edited it on a plane. You should see Caligula on a plane. It's yes. eight minutes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is that the just scene the where you, yeah. you're running? You yeah. run away? Yeah, I okay. run away. Yeah, yeah, it was, and I did one one take in in my underwear. All right, let's say hi to John and Red Bank. John. Hey, uh, Ken, I was surprised that you and Divin did that wrestling show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, looked like it, it looked like you guys went all in on that, especially Divin. He seems kind of intense, and you seem to have your head a little bit. Are you all right, man? Oh, yeah. I, I was fine. What I mean, happened, I, I sold John Cena threw me over the top rope, and uh, and I, I landed on this plastic... This plastic thing on top of the on top of the padding and top of the cement, and it had like a big crack, like a thud, and it really looked painful. And it wasn't. I kind of I was selling it because I remember Carlito, one of the wrestlers, like because they're all catching me. All four wrestlers are catching me. And Carlito's like, "Dude, are you okay?" I was like, "Shut the fuck up! I'm, I'm I'm selling." I was trying to speak wrestling talk. I'm selling. I'm selling the injury, dude. Why? Don't ruin my flow. I really was doing. It. And Pippen comes, "Are you okay?" Dude? I'm, I'm selling. I'm selling. Just fucking, just don't worry. Just trust yeah. me. So I really was just like trying to sell it. You know, I bought it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Like the boys this. in the back, they're all applauding. And like nice. Vince and Triple H were hugging me. So they're they're great. I love those guys. Did John pick you up over his head? Yeah. You know what would have been great as he was about to throw you if you had your mouth by his ear if he just went. I want to suck your cock. Dude, I, I would totally do that. You know what? He's such a good sport. I would totally do that. I would totally do that. He's such a good. He's like a cool guy. I would yeah. totally. Yeah. Have you had him on the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. John rules. Uh, he a rules, lot of those guys man. rule. Those guys. We yeah, like just about like, all. are always cool. I mean, we've never had yeah. any of them. Dicks. No. Yeah. Stephen Milwaukee. Ken Jong in studio from Community. Hey, Ken Jong. Yeah. <laughs> back to Ken. What's going on? Hey, I was just curious about your dancing and the uh, what's it gonna be video. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for seeing a video. It's just my hack, Michael Jack. And moves. I only have like, I'm like Nirvana. It's like I have three moves, but I do them really well. So if you see every in this video, I'd like kind of dance a little Michael <laughs> Jacksony. But if you look at all my appearances, it's like about the same thing. So nah, you're star of that video. Uh, and thanks, Doctor, man. by the way, fucking and when he when he was Doctor Ken, he he fucking killed. Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> ki and did black audiences. <laughs> and no one would want to follow him after he fucking. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Guy, Nobody no. wanted to follow. Who was Doctor Ken? I, I just never really. I was really always nervous when I did stand up, even though I was. You don't do stand up anymore. Bare, like hard. Oh, I do a little bit. See you do. Yeah. Yeah. I make the money now, man. You kidding me? <laughs> Glad fucking you know work door deals and stuff. You make a shitload of money. Yeah. How about yeah, you do stand up for us right now? Huh? <laughs> so what was Doctor Ken? Like, what would you do? I, I don't. It was just like kind of a. It was really like a like a BET comic as as a doctor Asian guy. It was just really like it was really like a lot of Asian jokes and. Um, it's kind of similar to that Randy character that Aziz Ansari did in Funny People. Like he had kind of this Randy. It was just kind of like a it was a parody on that a little bit. Yeah, yeah it was um, just kind of it's like fun at faux hip hop. I don't know. It's not even hip hop, but it's just you trying to explain it, motherfucker. It's your character. <laughs> <laughs> Look oh, at no. me like Patrice. You I know, know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I knew. I look at the black I met him as Doctor King. Yeah, I know. I and he would, he would fucking kill as Doctor. Like yeah. he would destroy <laughs> as Doctor King. He would have a guitar. Yeah. And fucking kill. And I'm he'd gonna, be in front of black crowds like just. I'm gonna YouTube destroy. that shit later. I'll check it out. Garth <laughs> yeah, in Indiana. Garth. Hey guys. Hey Garth. Hi. Hey Garth. Hey, Garth. hey Ken, I really liked your role in uh, Knocked Up, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You was a knocked up too, dude. Knocked, knocked up. up, Pineapple Express, Step Brothers. This is Judd Apatow fucking mafia. What? How did, <laughs> when, did, when did this happen, motherfucker? When did you do that? I I just auditioned for Knocked Up it was like three years ago, and and that and was it. That was really it. That he Judd gave me a career. I saw the epi I saw. Uh, you hang out with that with Seth and them. 
I don't. I haven't seen them in a while, but yeah, I was hanging out. I mean, I see them from time to time. And, and we that always... fucking meathead that hates me from uh, who hates you? Fucking who? he hated me since the show. Who? What is a uh, pork chop head that film <laughs> that? Uh, Help us out. What's the the movie? Which movie? The monster movie. Mm, the monster movie. Are you Mask. <laughs> that monster Tor movie. Where he holds the. Where he holds it. He hated me from doing this show. He holds the camera the whole time. Cloverfield. Oh, Cloverfield. Oh, T.J. Oh, Miller. Oh, you don't Jesus. like him. He's a good guy. Oh, he fucking. You don't like him. Acts like we used to go together. He doesn't speak to me that hard. Uh, really? Yeah, I see him in the last track. He's all right. T.J.'s all right. I gotta talk to T.J. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking turn his head. How come he doesn't like you? I don't know. I think I, I think I was said I fucking didn't like Cloverfield, and I enjoyed his giant head falling down at the end of the. <laughs> <laughs> but it took it personal. Like it's like I, I watch it as a fucking as a guy who watched the movie. Patrice beat the shit out of uh, Cloverfield. Oh, you, uh, he hated the shit yeah, out of Cloverfield. Yeah. I actually liked it. I liked it. I liked it. It was. Don't. I started with you. I got fucking seasick myself. <laughs> oh, for real. I, I yeah, it, just, it didn't move around a lot. Yeah, Even though Abr of... Abrams came back real hard with Star Trek. Oh dude. man, that was great. I yeah. enjoyed it. Came back I real fucking love Star Trek. Oh, that was. My favorite movie. Like movie. Also in Step Brothers, uh, that's a movie. Are you in Step Brothers? I was in it for just a, little, a second, just oh, like a like half a second. Bit. Yeah. It was and you're not much in that one, but furry vengeance. Yeah, right? that's right. You guys are in it. Don't that's right. fucking point at me. I'm I'm suing to get out of it. I'm suing to get out. I told you were very funny in that together. We're they said you were very funny. Yeah, yeah, they said, yeah, he left by the time we got there. Right, right, yeah. right. So when is that coming out? Furry vengeance. I think it's coming out in April. All right. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. Brooke Shields nice? Brooke she was surprisingly nice. She's so nice and cool. Well, her husband is Chris Henchy, who runs Will Ferrell's production company, Gary Sanchez Productions. If if she wasn't married, would you stick it in her fanny? Oh, I told her many Who's times. Who's that, I told her many Who times. Who wouldn't? Yeah. I, Even if she is married. She I, is I, a I'm, fucking I'm, funny goddamn broad, She man. is great. Good sport. Funny. funny. I heard she was a good sport. Yeah. She came back with the story saying yeah, she, was she was really, really cool. nice. Really funny cool. Broad, we man. email each other all the time just like, just talking shit. We didn't get great. that far with her. <laughs> we exchanged no personal information. <laughs> <laughs> you got a number? Um, no, I do not. Well, maybe I do. I think I do, actually. I'm going to call her until I use Latisse. Okay, let's see. Her, her fucking, uh, her eyelash, uh, shit, for growing eyes. That <laughs> Brooke Shields. Is that a product she endorses? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, email, yeah, I'll email her. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. I like Ken. Will, will you, Ken? Thank you. I'll, I, I like, email it. I like Ken's Bobby. answer, though, because he knew. He, no one says, do you have Brooke Shields' number and you have to think about it? You know immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, do I want to tell do these I guys because they're going to expect me to call it? See, that's what I'm saying. Or do I really have to process it right now? Because you know I know it. That is the. Those are the seeds of Hollywood where you just. Where you. Yeah. You have to think about everything you do, yeah. or yeah. it can just come crashing. This is how this, but this is how the mind and not, works. And not yeah. even offensive. Right. Ask me if I have. I'm you. Say, do you yeah. have Brookshire's number? Do you have Brookshire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more sincere and honest. Now, right? I yeah. am fucking finished. I'm watching Ken, and I realize how finished I am. He's yeah. just he's blowing he's, up. He's very he's nobody's very up. pleasant. He's pleasantly. D you know, he's not a fucking dick, but he's very pleasant. You can see it's not going to stop. He's I'm going to do something that's going to make the momentum stop. Nah, he's one hit. <laughs> he's, you're going to He's yeah. one hit, one more hit away from being a complete dick. I'm one more hit away, bro. You can tell. He's about sure. to change. <laughs> Let me I'll ask change. you this, though. Let me ask you this. And we have to think I'll about these things. Feud Hollywood is <laughs> with you. We have to think about the reality of <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah. Um, and you could be the first, but Hollywood doesn't let Asians become superstars. Jackie Chan. Except for Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan. Mega star. Yeah, Mega star. karate, though. That doesn't count. Oh, <laughs> karate. Well, how's, how's, talking about... how's your karate kick? You got one? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's your sidekick, big guy? Lisa, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa Lou. Who is it? Lisa Lou? Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou, yeah, Lucy yeah, Lou is, yeah. the, is the biggest? Maybe Sandra O, oh, maybe? Fat. <laughs> he's it. He fucking is. He went back China. to China probably because yeah. the integrity of these movies was shitty. I mean, he's used to doing yeah, new films. Yeah. Why would he stay here? strange, man. Hollywood's very fucking strategic with certain yeah, things. Yeah, I'm man. just honestly, dude. I'm just happy getting work. I'm just happy working. I that's all. I'm just, just happy working, working and Ken. and providing my front family. That's fuck out. <laughs> I just like that's all what I, about, I, what I care about. George T K. That's good impression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, they live the same lifestyle, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. See, that's, that's the answer I have to practice. Do that one more time. Like, hey, man. So, fuck. What, what are you? Like, I'm happy, but it's not practice. Well, I practice on my wife. I say, man, I'm just happy. I'm I'm getting paid. Do we have Do you have enough for the mortgage for this month? I mean, you know. I mean, Why that's can I fucking. <laughs> that's all I just... care about. <laughs> do that. Just do that. Be that. 
You can't help do it. that. Why the fuck? All right, ask me. Just okay. Ask me how I'm doing. How, how you doing? doing? How are you doing? Fine, man. I'm happy to just go. Cool. Uh, that fucking <laughs> <can't> mother. <laughs> You can't help us. <laughs> you can't fucking say it. <laughs> I'm just miserable. But I, but it got to be a place for somebody to be miserable. There yeah. is alone in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you Dude, found you, it. I got to give you props, man. You're great. Uh, the Office is like like one of my favorite shows ever, and you're like on that for but the he first season. Been, he should have been continually on that. You yeah, should have been yeah. one of the guys. But in the it's, it's, yeah, it, that's my my. That's his I had to look at B.J. Novak's face for more than half hour a day, and it just bugged me. That giant head walking around. So smug. it was B.J. Novak's face that repelled you from... Yeah, just, from <laughs> just I wasn't... I, I, I realized something. I'm, I I need to... And, it, and it, this is probably childish, and it's probably not professional, but I really... Sure does. I enjoy coming here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I like... It would have I like disrupted the, that. I like... No, no, no. I like the people that are here. I like Jimmy. I like Anthony. I like oh, I like yeah. everybody. Yeah. I like coming here because it feels like fucking friends. Yeah. So I don't I don't really enjoy being funny around people that I'm I'm not friends with. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not that funny. That's why I love tough crowds so much. But just to be professional, right. like where you hear things and you go, people don't don't like each other and they but they do it, but they fucking hate each other. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't do it, and that's and that's yeah. childish. But I, I really, but if you look at Judd Apatow, it looks like he surrounded himself, and same thing with Sandler. He just surrounded himself with a bunch of people he enjoys. Yeah, he's fucking friends. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at Rob Schneider, dude. Rob Schneider is, 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 is close to as mediocre <laughs> as you could get. It, it, he, he personifies <laughs> mediocre. Oh, yeah. But it's like he has a friend to cuff him and, and make it happy. I would have loved just being on Tough Crowd forever yeah. and not be the star. Just be, yeah. you know, under fucking Collins' wing because I enjoyed the crew. So when I did The Office, man, Steve Carell's a nice fucking guy. Yeah, Every, everybody's nice. I just, it just 16 hours a day of not your friends or not your thing. Yeah. Just, yeah. It, no, just, no, you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it. Just, it. Just, it just, I just couldn't. Ken has to leave in like a, two minutes, right? Or a minute? Oh, oh I don't do I? No, 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 they have other press for okay. okay. It doesn't? But I do remember, hey, Patrice, I do remember, you did have one line I still remember from the show, and you said, damn it, Michael! You said that, you got a big fucking laugh. You, you should have seen the, outtakes the of stuff it. That, they, yeah. that I didn't yeah. do, and that's yeah. what they kept. Yeah. 18 hours yeah. to have that. My, my diabetes, my feet swell up. <laughs> <laughs> Something I did. Right, <laughs> you know, here's the important question. Yeah. Uh, Ken's promoting community. It's Thursdays at 8 o'clock on NBC with uh, with Joe McHale and um, Anthony Michael Hall. I thought was regular, but he's not. And the important thing is how much influence do you have over who Judd puts in his next <laughs> film? First of all, oh. you stuttering cocksucker. Uh, oh, really? None. You, you never know. He might. You never. They have meetings. You never, he might go. You know who's perfect for this? <laughs> if they need a stand-in for a cartoon turtle, I'm sure <laughs> there's a place for you. <laughs> Listen, we got to get him out of here. He's he's got a real busy day. Ken Jong is all done. Dude, I, really I, fucking I'd funny. Another, I'd, I'd love he's to all hang over the place. I, I'll be honest, man. I'm Next time in New York, do a big long fucking day with us. I would love to. Seriously, I'm just, just some shit I'm with you, Ken. I'm so I'm so happy I'm doing this. Thanks for having me. Where you going, Ken? Where you going? I don't, I don't have Who's to go. Is somebody a PR person out there? Yeah, they have. He's, he, I, I, for real. I mean, for real. It's okay. his job to say he doesn't him. have to go, but for real, he does have to job. go. Again, this is another LA thing. Yeah. I say, that, you know, ask I, him about who he's dating. Are you dating the uh, <laughs> co-star from <laughs> Ken Jong? Like Jimmy said, Community is a great show. It's on tonight Thanks, at eight p.m. on NBC. Thanks, Start DVRing it, and uh, I appreciate. No, no, I appreciate. Just well, I appreciate it. you guys having me on, dude. Good seeing you, buddy. Ken Jong, everyone. Man. Take care, guys. I think we're done, too. Fuck yes. it. Yeah. I, I have luggage with me. I want to go home. Jimmy just man. flew in from L.A. Yeah, his arms are killing him. <laughs> Look at him. He's oh, giving us all handshakes. Right. Put, it, put it in the... Put your bat and ball and fucking... <laughs> yeah. Your ball and glove. <laughs> well, See you, Ken. Uh, there he goes. Uh, why don't we uh, get that the fuck out of here? Ill-fitting yeah. suit. <laughs> 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 Fucking dressed like he owns a store. <laughs> <laughs> what a prick you are. Uh, uh, others, this is what I hate, is that like we have to compete with serious, other serious interviews. Oh, is that why, Adelaide? Yeah. yeah. What oh. fucking interview is he doing now? I think Hits 1. Hits 1. We're way bigger than Hits 1. Hits 1. The mashup. Oh, oh that nice mashup. Oh, that little show. Well, it's probably better for him. To Actually, we're friends with that fucker. Yeah, let him, let him go. Let's get out of here. Patrice, Stress right. Factory starting tonight? Yeah, I'm there tonight through the weekend, man. Thank you, beautiful, for having me on. I, hey, fellas, I just appreciate being here, man. I appreciate you guys having me. I appreciate having you. Thank you. Patrice and I, you is know. always very, uh, very good here. 
And it's like you said, you know, you fit in. It's like just I do appreciate coming. Out. I do appreciate yeah. being well, being around. There are some people Wait. that come in here, and it's like, man, eh, well. why do you appreciate us stuff for real? Because because he's got to hear it. <laughs> look at him. Oh, so oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how can a guy from Boston? Oh, God. How can a guy from Boston not Chicopee the night after Thanksgiving? Oh. <laughs> or Boston two nights after Thanksgiving where I'll be performing? Oh, oh, oh. not Chicopee or Boston. <laughs> right. I'm surprised you fell for that. Oh <laughs> damn! Be, it's still off. Your mic's not going back on. He doesn't need it. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> all right, with that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We got all the plugs in, I'm right? Okay. I think so. Yeah, yeah. but um, uh, Big Mama prods on Twitter for the big Patrice O'Neill yes. as well. Thank all right, we'll see you and tomorrow. We talk about, um